So welcome everybody to tonight's Off of Vault webinar. We have Sam Baker on. Sam, how you doing tonight? Yo, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> I've been dying to get Sam on because I've promoted his um, his courses in the past and I've gotten some excellent feedback on, on things that he's done. Um, he's like a serious expert when it comes to Facebook um, and social media. And I'm kind of a really intrigued to hear what he has to say tonight unfortunately I, I can't hang around too long tonight because i have another meeting to go to but i will watch the replay which all of you can do as well i know that's one of the favorite questions everybody asks oh sorry about that is um if uh if we're re uh, recording and we always do record and you can find the replay as usual in the offer vault uh, members area should be posted by probably the end of the day tomorrow. So uh, you're in for a real treat tonight. And I, again, I want to thank Sam for coming on. And Sam, um, thank you. And uh, um, I'll pass it over to you. Sounds good. All right. Thanks for that, Mark. So um, welcome everyone to the webinar. I'm excited to be here today. And uh, I'm not sure where it is in the world for you. I've got Don saying that he's in Canada. But where is everyone today? Just say where you're, where you're from. And I'm excited to get going. Mark is a guy that um, I got a ton of respect for in the industry. He's a guy that um, I've really enjoyed working with. And uh, he's also a guy that has some great stuff. And I know that all of you would have had the benefit of, of learning from Mark and, and offer vote. So um, that's fantastic. Now we've got Curry here from Los Angeles. We have AJ here from Liverpool. We have Kyle here from Oregon. <laughs> fantastic. We have uh, Pablo here from Maryland and Chuck from California. We've got Cheryl from London, which uh, I'll actually be over in London in a couple of weeks' time. So I'm um, Cheryl. I may see you over there. We've got uh, Chris in New New Orleans. Fantastic, and uh, Brandy in Canada. Excellent. Well, um, we've got a, most people are from the states. It looks like we've got a, a few people from around the world, which is fantastic. I'm here in New Zealand, Wellington, New Zealand, right now. So, as Jr. says, he's in Antarctica. Um, Jr., that's probably the closest uh, to New Zealand out of any of the the uh, the suggestions or where people are right now. So, um, very cool. Uh, and it's currently raining quite windy and as Wellington usually is. But I'm excited to be on this call and I, I hope that I can share some stuff with you today that um, will put point in the right direction with Facebook and help you to, to hopefully um, implement a strategy for making money over Facebook. But in order to do that, it's really important that I understand from the, from the I guess from the outset um, where everyone is at, where everyone's focusing on, so I can make sure this is obviously relevant and, and going to be helpful for you and useful. So if you're focusing now, just, um, just post what you're focusing on now. What is your main focus online? What are you uh, looking and what what is your direction in terms of how are you making money online? What are you looking to do to make more money online? And uh, and what are you currently, I guess, using um, or what strategies are you using to uh, to help you do that? As I get Cheryl saying affiliate marketing, um, Chris is using marketing tools. Fantastic. <laughs> Chris is in um, to mugshot removal. Uh, fantastic, Chris. We've got Dave saying traffic. Um, with Joe saying he's not making any money yet, which is okay. But what do you what do you want to make money on? Viral marketing, Kindle marketing, local marketing, social marketing. Kyle's been busy. Uh, Kurt saying CPA. Um, I'm in MLM, MLM programs. Fantastic. Uh, Raymond CPA products said saying. Um, Traffic. Hilda is interested in traffic. We've got Hilda saying social as well, uh, social traffic and services, selling workshops, etc. La la, fantastic. Thank you, thank you everyone for that. I've got a good um, indication of where everyone's at. Terry saying affiliate marketing. This is going to be a fairly engaging webinar. Um, I like to to do this um, one so I don't get lonely over here, <laughs> talking in front of a computer, but also um, because it's important that you both uh, that that we all um, obviously talk together and, and everyone's on the same understanding as we move forward through all this content. So the the final question that I have before I start this thing off and we get kick started and and uh, and and get this thing rolling is that uh, just let me know if, if you're here today because you're looking for an opportunity you may not have found the thing that's right for you you may not have been able to post a message just before about what you're focusing on um, but you know that you can make money online you know that there is a way to make money online and you're here today because you're looking for a new opportunity a new strategy that might enable you to do that and that's your main focus or, or that's what you're here for okay you're basically here to see a new opportunity you want a strategy that allow you to do that and uh, just say yes in the questions box right now if that's you okay if you're here to see a new opportunity you're here because you want a strategy and you're here because you know you know that you, you can make money online, right? You know there's money made, uh, made online, but you're still working out how and how this can happen, and, and that's fantastic. Thank you, everyone, for, for posting that. Yes, 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 fantastic. Um, <laughs> Brandy's saying, so, I so I'm told, and 
And anytime I ask that question, it brings me back to um, when I used to be on webinars, and it was only it was a, a few years ago. Um, but I would hop on webinars, and I'd be looking for obviously things to make money with, and and um, it really happened one day for me after I I literally stole my parents' credit card and put a put a <laughs> bought a product of one of the main marketers, put it on my parents' credit card, and then um, I had a strategy, and I started after that applying that strategy, and and things started to happen. So um, that's fantastic. Now you will find my voice is faster than the average person's. Um, that is because I like to get through content fast, uh, and I like to. I, I believe it benefits everyone if I can get through content fast because obviously you can write notes, you can look at the screen, you can understand it, go through it, and also because I'm a Kiwi and apparently we're the the fastest talking people uh, in the English language. Apparently, I'm not too sure if that's true, but um, that's the feedback I get. So it's uh, <laughs> if you find me, um, if I find things hard to understand. Um, I encourage you to watch this again if you really have to. But um, also, I will be moving fast, I will make it as clear as possible, and as well as saying, good, I like fast, and I'm, I'm on that same track. I like to move through things quickly, I don't like to muck around, so on that note, let's get into it. So what we're going to cover today is we're going to cover an, a number of things, okay? What I'm going to show you is a cool strategy of, of making money over Facebook, how you can help local businesses, and also how you can go out and literally off this call and start making money with the strategy that I give you. We've actually had people make money live on the call. Which is a lot of fun, and it's uh, enjoyable when that happens. It's uh, it really happens. I I, I can't say that it'll happen today, um, but it has happened in the past. So what you're going to get is obviously useful, and it's something that you'll be able to apply immediately after you get off this call. So we're going to go into how you can successfully build, or how you can build a successful monster list from Facebook. And we're going to go into three case studies. And when we say case studies, what I mean is we're going to look at some people, what they've done study, hey, how did they actually become successful in their business? What did they do? What steps did they take? Um, so you can obviously take the same steps. And we're going to go into how one 15-year-old kid was able to generate $3,500 within his first three weeks. So who am I? Well, this is me. I'm Sam Backer. And uh, as Mark has explained, um, I've been online for a while now. I've been known as a Facebook guy, and I have the, the I guess, the opportunity, the privilege of um, traveling the world and, and speaking a lot and uh, doing a lot online. I've actually just came back from come back from Australia and also Auckland as well. I just flew back to Wellington today. I'm off to Auckland again um, for more um, speaking, I guess, on uh, in next week. And then after that, I'm off to the UK and then back to Sydney. So I do get to, to do what I want. I get to, to obviously spread the word. And one of my main uh, – the main business for me right now is local marketing, okay, helping businesses and helping them implement systems that make marketing more effective for them. And this is my business partner, Robert Grant. Um, he is a guy that has over a million Facebook uh, users that he has access to over Facebook. Basically, he has a million fans across his networks, and he's also a guy that's dealt with a number of big corporate clients, and he's made a ton of money online as well. So this is what I basically do. Um, this is what I've been doing for the last few years as well, is that um, I started off quite early on, um, and I started helping businesses. I started an opportunity to help businesses with their marketing, and uh, this is my office right here, which we do that. Okay, we do this in Wellington, and, and this is my office right over here. It's actually like a boardroom, and uh, I sit in here. I, I do a lot of these presentations from there, and I also have and invite businesses in that we talk with. And I help businesses with their marketing. I help them get online, and I help them I help make things easier for them so they can generate more leads, they can make more money. And also what I've done is, as a result of getting a number of these clients, I found that there was a real need to automate things, make things more simple for these businesses. And a lot of them wanted uh, ways of, of generating traffic, generating, obviously, leads that were automated and quite easy. So. It really motivated me to start up this office over in India, and uh, this is an office that I own, a marketing agency, and what we have here is we basically have a number of uh, various um, developers, we have a number of people doing graphics, all of that, who are located in this office, and what we do is we go into businesses, we have a look at that business, and we say, well, um, you know, how... What can we do to help this business, okay? And if it's automating things, if it's making things more simple, that's what we do. So we come up with a number of different softwares that help businesses uh, make their business more manageable so they can unplug more and they can get more enjoyment um, from their business itself. And that's what we've been paid for for a, a number of years, and uh, this is where our real passion is when it comes to helping businesses, and that's how we get paid. So in order for you to understand, and thank you that, uh, for that, Chris, I'll get in touch, is that... Um, 
back in September, it's important to understand the past to, uh, to understand the future. I'm, I'm sure we can all agree with that. And I'm going to show you a bit about where Facebook's moving forward and where it's going. There's been a lot of talk and a lot of chatter about these new timeline changes and about how Facebook is changing things a lot. And what I want to show you is where Facebook's headed. But in order to do that, it's really important that obviously we first understand the past, what's happened in the past, and what was working in the past. So previously what was working for me is I was helping businesses and I was doing this strategy. Okay, I had a strategy that worked over and over again. I've been doing it for a while. Okay, I started. I was really one of the first people around Wellington in, in New Zealand to start promoting Facebook and, and services relating to Facebook to businesses. So that strategy was that I first started off with was PBC would drive it to a fan page. Okay, would basically capture a lead. We're capturing the lead and then would promote to that lead for that business. So it's basically a paid model of traffic, and if you know anything about affiliate marketing or CPA marketing, you'll know that paid traffic is a great way to drive drive traffic for that. But what I happened, uh, what happened is that um, I was running this and it was working really, really well. But what I discovered is that you know while this was working really, really well, there was one big problem. Facebook started increasing the amount that I had to pay for my bids. Okay, they started increasing the amount that I purchased traffic for, and I found myself in a very difficult situation because I suddenly had commitments to all these different clients. But then Facebook was telling me that suddenly the price of these these clicks and this that this isn't increased, and for many of these businesses, it suddenly made it non-profitable for them. Okay, it suddenly made it not worth their while, and it made it not my, worth my while as well. So at that stage, I really had a decision to make. And it was a difficult one because I've been earning so much money through this and I've been helping a lot of businesses. It was working over and over again. But suddenly I was in a position where Facebook had basically, I, I guess, owned me in a way because they had suddenly controlled what I was able to do. So I found myself in a situation where I needed to find another way to make money. So what I did is I, I started to go out and I started to find various ways or, or another way to make money over Facebook for these businesses, I should say. So what I did is I went out. And I started to look for different ways, okay, various ways that I could use Facebook systems, use the, the viral features that Facebook has to help promote these other businesses for free, okay, in a way that Facebook wouldn't have control over. Around that same time, um, while this was all going on, I started to also release products online. And one of the products that I first released is these these fan pages, okay, these custom fan pages. And and I released them. I sold quite a few of them. They became quite popular. And as Mark will know, and, and many of you on this call may even know, is that when you have your own products and you release them and they do quite well, you suddenly get a lot of people pitching you about their products because obviously you then have a customer list, you have a subscriber list, people that follow you, people that um, obviously go with what, whatever you recommend. And I was suddenly in a situation where I was getting all these people emailing me in and, and going on Skype, all of those different mediums, and pitching me about their products. And one of the big problems with that, and, and many of you may think, well, that's kind of cool, but one of the main problems with that is that I suddenly found very early on that many of these products were nothing more than ideas. Okay, They, they didn't work. They, I couldn't clearly see how am I meant to make money out of this. I couldn't see that. And I started to turn off when people actually did this to me. Around that time, what also happened is I, I suddenly got hit up by this guy on Skype. And this guy's name was Ben. Now, I wasn't paying much attention, but he sent me the screenshot, and suddenly I did pay attention. What it showed is that within one single day, this guy had made or had generated over 242,000 visitors back to his page, back to his website, within one single day. 242,000 visitors within one single day. Now, if you saw this, would you be interested? Okay, just say yes if you'd be interested. Who would be interested in this if you suddenly saw someone had just sent you through something that would that show that they were generating over 242,000 visitors to their website in one single day? This is the server stats for Ben, and uh, I was, uh, I mean, I was thinking, wow, okay, what is this? How is he doing this? How is this guy able to generate this kind of traffic? Would you be interested in that? <laughs> And I'm getting a ton of yeses. I'm getting some hell yes. That's what I like to hear. And um, absolutely, Maureen saying, fantastic. And, and that's what I was thinking. I know there's people on this call that wanted to learn about driving traffic. I was like, wow, this is like an incredible amount of traffic. Imagine what you could do with that kind of traffic. And that really, I guess, it, it really took me on a path where I was thinking, okay, well, why are you doing this? I never heard of anyone driving this kind of traffic over Facebook. But then it also popped the question in my mind, which I know many of you will be thinking right now. Because it's easy to drive, uh, drive traffic. You can go to traffic swaps or um, some scammy site, Fiverr even, where you can drive fake traffic back to your website that isn't really useful. It's not really relevant to what you're promoting. And it means you got a lot of traffic, but what doesn't it mean? It doesn't mean that you got a lot of money, okay? So I suddenly asked him, I said, well, you know, that's great. You've shown me all this traffic, but are you making any money with that? And then he showed me this. And he showed me that he had generated over $22,000 in that day, okay? In one single day, $22,000 from the traffic he was generating. 
And then I thought, well, okay, this is this is a lot of money. I'd never heard of anyone generating this kind of money within a single day with Facebook before, especially not Facebook fan pages. I mean, I was a Facebook expert. I considered myself a Facebook expert. I was one of the few people that did it in New Zealand. I was getting more known online. I felt like I had a lot of contacts online, and I would find this out before anyone else. And I thought that I knew all the different ways of generating income online, okay, with Facebook. So what I did is I went ahead and I tried this out. Okay, I went ahead and I tried this out. And what happened is that or I went ahead and asked him basically, what is this that you're doing? Okay, what is it that you're doing? And he said, well, I'm using Facebook marketing applications. And I thought, well, okay, Facebook marketing applications. That's like Farmville games. Like, is that poker? And I was, I was really hooked on poker at the time, the Facebook poker you play in the, in the game. And, and he said, no, it's actually Facebook marketing applications. Okay, they, they spread the word about your business. They generate leads for you. They, um, they allow you basically to get a ton of exposure within a very short period of time using Facebook systems. I thought, wow, okay, show me this. <laughs> show me with this Facebook marketing application. He showed me when I saw it, and I said, well, okay, that's great. So now you've shown me these screenshots, you've shown me the results you're getting, you've shown me how you're doing this. Um, but if I'm actually going to take this out to my subscribers, and I'm going to actually get out there and, and I'm going to put myself on the line and promote this, then what I'm going to need to know is, is I'm going to see have to see this over a 24-hour period working. So I've got a challenge for you, okay? If this works as well as, it, if, as you say it will, then I'll give you a challenge, okay? Over a 24-hour period, starting from now, I want you to go out and I want you to try and make money with this. I want you to show me that this strategy in this system works from start to finish over a 24-hour period. And at that time, I really thought that would be the last that I'd ever hear of him. But what actually happened is he came back to me about 15 minutes later and he showed me that he had made over $109, which I witnessed over the next two to three weeks turn into $3,000, okay? And I was thinking at the time, wow, this is incredible. How is he doing this? And the thing that was most incredible, most grabbing, I guess most captivating for me was the fact that he had generated this, he had done this, and it only took about 30 minutes of marketing initially to get his application up and running, okay? And then it was generating leads automatically, it was generating buzz automatically, and it was spreading over Facebook automatically using Facebook systems. At that time, I thought, wow, okay, um, this is far better than the stuff that I've been doing to date, this is better than the strategy I was using before because it's free traffic. And it started to shift my focus from what I was doing in the past onto Facebook marketing applications and how they could be used for businesses. One of the things that I also did is I know that I understood that if something is working for someone out there, and I know many of you know this as well, if something is working for someone, there's a high chance, okay, that it could be working for someone else. So what I did is I started asking around and seeing who else was using these Facebook marketing applications. And I came across this guy, Robert Grant. Now, Robert Grant was running a contest. Okay, he was using a Facebook application to run a contest. And what he had done is he had generated over 20,000 visitors throughout a four-week period with this Facebook application back to his website. Which then turned, and he had generated over 3,000 registrations. And he had also generated over $100,000 as a result of this as well. So I thought, wow, that's incredible. And what actually happened is he turned that into, it was actually $164,000 that he generated. And that was in just a very short period of time. So I was thinking, wow, okay, well, how are you doing this? How did you actually do this? He showed me the Facebook app he was doing. It was much similar to Ben's. And he said, well, this is, well, it worked great. There was actually some issues with this. There were actually some things that didn't go as well as they could have. So at that time, I thought, well, okay, that's great. That's good to know. And I started to learn more about Facebook applications. And I came across this guy, Levi. Now, Levi is a guy who is, he's basically been online for seven days. He discovered a strategy using Facebook applications that he could use with CPA marketing. And what he was doing is he was generating about 1,000 Twilight leads a day, okay, after about two weeks, 1,000 Twilight leads a day. And he'd never heard about making money online before that. He had just basically got out of his job, he wanted to make some money, and then he had started, and he had hit it really big. So he was generating 1,000 Twilight leads a day, and that was turning into about $800 plus per day as a result of the campaigns he was using with Facebook applications. So I took all of this and I thought, well, okay, um, this is cool. How can I, how else can I use this? And then this guy, Dale, came up to me. And I know Dale for a while and he just messaged me and he just asked me some questions about online. And Dale's one of those guys that, you know, he's been online for a long time. He'd been online for about seven years, but he hadn't really made any money because he's one of the type of guys that that was always chasing product after product, okay? He would always go after product after product. He knew a lot, okay? He had a lot of information stored, but he simply hadn't implemented anything that would actually that actually generated money from. So I put this in his hands and I said, Dale, why don't you try this? Why don't you go out to some businesses, just like I do in my business, and try these Facebook apps? 
and within two weeks he generated over $1,859. Now I show you this to show you how effective this can really be and how you can actually make or, or some, I guess, some results that people have had as a result of using these Facebook apps. So you can understand what they are, how they work, and what's possible when they're implemented correctly if you do it in the right way. And a lot of that, what we've covered so far, I'm going to go into in a much bigger way very soon. One of the first things I wanted to draw your, your attention with is that we recently did a, uh, a survey with our list. I'm just going to take a glass of water. Who said that thing where you we basically bite your tongue um, when you're in the middle of talking, and then it's really hard to talk? <laughs> just say yes if you've had that problem before. Because um, I'm having that problem right now. I have something in my tongue, and I just bit it, and it's really hurting. <laughs> so I'm going to take a wee break, take a drink of water, and uh, then we're going to get back into this. <laughs> Okay, cool. That'll do me. If you, if you hear me um, scream in pain, um, it's totally natural. I'm totally okay. It's only my tongue that's got cut off or, or something has happened around that. I'm actually not not hurt. Too bad. <laughs> so, um, okay, cool. We're going to have some fun on this webinar. I can tell we've had some fun. If you've been on other webinars of mine in the past, you'll know that I've experienced earthquakes. I've fallen off my chair countless times and been interrupted by many various people um, who seem to have an interest in what I'm doing and walk up to the computer and start talking to it. So um, there is always interesting things that will happen in these webinars. But anyway, let me get back to the point <laughs> as we get a bit off topic is, is um, we did a survey with our list. One of the things that I love to do is um, with uh, obviously people that are subscribers or ours and all of that, and I'm sure that Mark is the same, is that we do these surveys. And the reason for these surveys is to get an understanding, to get an understanding of basically where people are at and, and get an understanding about how we can bring more to the table to help people, okay, with whatever they're doing. So we did a recent survey, and one of the fears that popped up for a lot of people is the economy is in, in probably, a, it's a really bad state right now, okay? It's, it's a fear that a lot of people have that we're in a decreasing economy. And another fear that people have is that, or, or a, lot, a thing that came up that was, that people believed was responsible for them not being successful was there the fact that they weren't that clear it became very clear that they weren't clear on the reason why they were doing this business you're not on this webinar right now because you actually enjoy talking to me because you want to hear me talk about the, the issues I'm having in my mouth right now um, you're here because you want something more okay you want something more you wouldn't be on here just to hear my voice you're not on here because hey it's great it's a webinar I get to plug in some cool content that's not why you're here. And one of the things that we've really discovered is that when people get really clear on their why, and I've discovered this in my own life, is that, that things become a lot que quicker and easier to get to. Okay, so what I want to do is for the benefit of those that are not quite clear on their why yet on this call, okay, if you're not quite clear on your why, you've maybe gone around online and you feel like you're, you're hitting roadblock after roadblock, you're just chasing product after product, and you've really lost vision and enthusiasm from when you started off. Um, what I really want to do is I want to say, well, what is the reason that, that you're on here right now? What is your why? And I want you to post it just in the chat box right now, and I'm going to read some of these out. Don't worry, it'll stay anonymous, so um, it's not like you're obviously revealing top secret information or anything like this. Uh, it's mainly for the benefit of everyone else who are not clear in this why. And, and those that are not quite clear, I want you to have a good think right now as to why are you doing this, okay? What is it that motivates you? What is it that you want out of this? Because if you're not continually clear on what it is that you need and what it is that you want to get, then it's very hard to find what's going to you, what you can use as the vehicle to get you there. And what ends up happening is you don't actually have any vision, you don't have a goal, and you don't have a place where, hey, yeah, when I get to that, that is when I will be successful, that is when I'll have these things. And what happens is you continually go night after night after night doing the same thing over and over again, and you never reach where it is that you want to go. And we've all been through these stages, I know, and I've, I've personally been through this stage uh, a number of times where you really feel like you're losing the reason for being there. You're just going through the motions. So thank you, everyone, for, for posting comments right now. I'm going to read some of these out. So uh, as we go through, I'm just going to go up to the top, and we have a, we have a lot of people on this call, so um, bear with me. Okay, cool. So... Um, Okay, financial independence from my ex. Fantastic, Jennifer. That's excellent. Now, I'm just going to read your first name. Don't worry. No one knows who you are. Um, uh, Mike's having problems making a product. Lala wants freedom in her life, okay, or, or his life. Lala, I think you're a she. Uh, I'm not totally sure, but just let me know in the chat so I, I know for future reference. But freedom is something that Lala wants. Uh, Roger's saying that, uh, you know, I'm desperate right now. What are you desperate for? Okay, what would make your life easier, Roger? Okay, what is it that you want out of this? Now, you may be desperate, and the, la the last thing you want to think about is, you know, your life being 
you know, successful, okay, you having some money coming in. What is it that you want? What will it do for you, okay? Is it because you want to make more money, Roger? Is it because you need to pay off some bills? What is your reason why? Because desperation isn't really a, a why. It's really, a, I guess, it's a state. Um, so sick, husband can quit work, okay? Kelly wants her husband to quit work. Fantastic. That's one of the benefits. Who here would like to quit their job? Just say yes if you'd love to quit your job right now, okay? If you're in a nine to five, you want to quit your job, just say yes. Because I know for a lot of people, that's one of the big motivators, to spend more time with your family. To actually work at a cafe if you really want to during the day, work on the beach, work wherever you want. Because an internet business, it can't bring you that. It's brought me that. I live on the beach now. And that's something that I said as my why a few years ago, okay? A few years ago, I said, I want to be living on the beach. And now it's happened, okay? And I, I have that. Charles says to make more money. Um, I want to be my own boss. Chris, it's the most rewarding thing when you're your own boss. Completely correct. Early retirement and financial freedom. Now, Daniel, how important is that considering how things are in the economy? A lot of the, I, I believe from my understanding, a lot of the retirement money in the U.S. is at a stage where it's not available right now. So, hey, how important would it be to be able to retire? And what about control? Who would like to control their lives? Okay, who would like to be in control and feel like they're in control of their life? They determine their future. Proceeding to make more money, having uh, more to offer my clients with the internet marketing company, fantastic. So Kylie wants to take her business to the next level, and this will bring in more exposure and increase my local economy. Fantastic, Kyle. So Kyle wants to do something for a local com community, or uh, he wants to do something for lo his local com community. Fantastic. Quit my job and provide a good life for me, my family, and my kids. Now, how important is that to so many people out there? And again, a ton of yeses coming in from um, the other questions I had. Support my kids as a single mom. Brandy, that's fantastic. And uh, we're also getting, we need to raise money for my daughter's study abroad program. Fantastic. That's my right now. Why? Now, Marcus, I want you to actually hold on to that because at the end of this webinar, there's something that I want to, I want to, um, I want you to hit me up at the end of this. I won't forget your name. And something that I want to tell you on, uh, along those lines. Um, my wife has a poor pension plan, Don's saying. Okay, cool. So these are the reasons why. And it's important that we get clear on these so we can look at, hey, why, what are we doing moving forward? So I really encourage you to write that down and, and keep it close to you. Make sure that you're, you're continually moving towards that because it's this weird thing that when you get really clear on why it is you're doing this, um, for some, some, somehow you start moving towards that and it suddenly becomes more real. So that's one of the reasons that I really encourage you to do that. One of the things that I've been able to do is um, I, I years ago I, I started in this business. I had a real strong why. I wanted to travel the world. I wanted to speak. I wanted to be able to help people, and I wanted to be able to to live a life where I was my own boss. I get to connect with people who had similar interests to me. And for me, that's happened as a result of this business. Um, this is me, and and I believe it's in Sydney, Australia. I'll be over there soon, talking again. This is me speaking on stage. These are some of my friends. I, get to, I travel around the place. As I said, I'm going to UK, Australia, and I'm, I'm planning to go to the states sometime soon as well. And uh, one of the one of the best I think one of the most enjoyable things. She'll, she'll, she always um, laughs at me saying this, but this is my girlfriend, Eva, and um, she's a best-selling author. She runs a big business over here in, in New Zealand where she has a number of clients. It's actually a social marketing business, so it's she actually basically helps businesses get on Facebook and and uh, she does. She's my competition, basically. So that's that's interesting, um, being my girlfriend. But anyway, so one of the things that I wanted wanted to do is I wanted to have someone that had similar interests to me. And how important is it, or how cool would it be if your spouse was able, you're able to be home with your spouse and talk to them about this stuff? How cool would it be that they had some involvement in your business? One of the most rewarding things for me is that I've met someone now, and I've I've now got someone in my life, and I wrote this down a while back that is that has the same interests as me, and I actually get the privilege to speak on stage with them even in a, in a couple of months over in Australia. So um, that's something that I'm really forward to and also these guys here this is Dale you recall Dale from the uh, the uh, I guess the the chat box or, or the uh, the um, uh, slide before and uh, this is Daniel now the important thing about Daniel is that we got talking a few this is a meetup basically I hold these meetups in Auckland um, I'm really passionate about helping people in my local community as well and, and we have um, every single Sunday we meet up basically and we, we sit down we go through a lot of different strategies we see hey where are people at what are they doing online what are they able to to do to push themselves forward and I coach a number of people here and um, Daniel was one of these guys. He came across and he said, well, hey, I want to make more money online and I've got this great business that um, I've got in mind and I want to help businesses do it. So um, I sat down with Daniel a couple of weeks back and he got his first $7,000 client on board. His first $7,000 client. And what that means is basically this business had paid him $7,000 for Daniel to help them with their marketing. Okay, and It was just the stuff that Daniel learned online. It was the stuff that, um, that many of you are learning right now. He was able to implement that and get paid $7,000 by a business for doing that. Now he's at a stage where he's ready almost to quit his job, which is fantastic. So I guess the, the question then becomes, how can you do this for yourself? Okay, How was I able to do this for myself and how can you do this for yourself? as well. 
And I believe it comes down to one of the main reasons, one of the major factors for this is that I've always had the ability to stick ahead of the game. Okay, I've always found out what are the trends and how can I position myself ahead of them. So one of the things I've been able to do is position myself ahead of trends out there. So I discovered early on that there are really two ways to become an expert. The first is to go to school and study. Now, who went to school and studied? Okay, who is an expert in something? Now, the reason you want to be an expert in something is because experts get paid. Okay, if you're an expert, people come to you with money because they've got something that you have. Okay, they want something that you have, and you can give them advice or you can help them with something because you are the expert. Now, if you become an expert, you can get paid for that. So one of the best things that you can do for yourself right now is to become an expert in something online so people come to you and help and get help with that. So who went to school here? Just say yes if you went to university, school, or, or uh, college, as they call it in the States. Who got a degree? And who would consider themselves as a result of that an expert and in what field in what field are you an expert in? I'm getting a ton of yeses. A lot of people that went to, to college here are fantastic. <laughs> so Manish is an expert in wasting money on her masters. Okay, that's a positive way of looking at it. <laughs> we have an education degree, music teacher, fantastic Brandy. So Brandy is an expert in music. So Brandy, you would agree that you teach people, people come to you because you're an expert in music and you can teach them and show them how they can do the same thing, okay? You can teach them how to be musicians themselves. Alternative medicine, Hilda's saying, fantastic. So Hilda is an expert in alternative medicine, which basically means that, uh, that hey, people come to her for advice on being or on, um, on alternative health, okay? So if people want alternative medicine, they come to Hilda and Hilda has the right solution. They pay Hilda for that. <laughs> As I'm reading JR's comment, I'll, I'm not gonna read that out, JR. <laughs> School of Hard Knocks, Mike's saying, fantastic. MS degree, maths, finance, personal finance, Lee's saying. So um, basically, Lee is an expert in personal finance. People go to Lee to get paid. Now, what, how, long, how long did it take you to become experts in that? Those that have just posted that, how long did it take to become an expert in that? Okay, did it take hours? Did it take weeks? Or did it take months, years? What did it take? How long did it take? As Brandy's saying, four years of school. 27 plus years, Hilda's saying, 27 plus years to become an expert in alternative medicine. Donnie's saying two years, Lee's saying years. Now one of the great things about this business is that you can actually speed this process up. If I was to tell you that you can become an expert in this business within a matter of literally a couple of weeks, would that be interesting? Okay, would you prefer that? to obviously going to school and studying for hours and hours because many of you have this mindset and I, I had this when I first came on as well. I was going to school and I had this mindset that in order to really make a lot of money, position myself to be an expert in what it is that I, I was an expert in my field, what I had to do is I had to suddenly go and study every single book. I had to study every single course. I had to become an expert in everything I possibly could because in doing so, I would be an expert online and then I'd have control and I'd have expertise over anything and I'd be able to see where are the opportunities in the marketplace. But what I found is the quickest way that I can speed myself ahead, and I'll give you some examples of this, is to position myself ahead of the market. Because when you position yourself ahead of the market, you can become an expert for experts. Because you're ahead of the market, you know where the market's moving. You position yourself ahead of where people are right now, and in order for people, and basically you've jumped, frog, leapfrogged um, the other experts in your marketplace because you are where they're not right now. And one of the, one, some examples of this, basically when I was 13 years old, um, I made, I didn't tell you this, but when I was, by the age of 16, I made over $100,000 online, okay? Um, so I started off when I was 13 years old online, and by the age of 16, I made $100,000. I was able to do this because I bought on these MP3 players. I, I saw that um, that these were the MP3 players that were hot all around New Zealand. And I saw in the States, though, that you guys had these fancy ones, okay? You had these LCD screens, screen, uh, screen um, MP3s. And I thought, wow, okay, people in New Zealand must want these. Wouldn't they like this? So I thought, well, okay, why don't I import some of these? So what I did is I took a massive risk and I imported about $5,000 worth of these MP3s right here. I started selling them and very quickly I became an expert, or I guess by, I didn't become an expert, but I was the person that everyone would go to for the MP3 players. I was the go-to person in my local community and as soon as I put these online, everyone started hitting my website. Everyone was telling uh, about telling people about these MP3s, okay? And suddenly I had a flood of orders and, and things really started to explode for me. Then again, what happened is I got out of that business and I started 
started looking at online marketing. Okay, I started plugging into a lot of the information out there, and I had the same opportunities as everyone else. Okay, I was looking at SEO, I was looking at PPC, I was looking at everything, and then I looked at Facebook. And very few people were actually on Facebook at the time. Very few businesses were on Facebook at the time as well. So I thought, well, well, well why can't I go to businesses and I could show them and educate them about Facebook? So I did that. And what I did is I found out about these template things as well. And I was the only one locally that was actually supplying these. So suddenly I had a ton of businesses coming to me because I was the expert in Facebook. And I was also the expert when it came to templates. I was the only person in my local community that could supply this to them. So they all came to me. They told their friends about me. So if you wanted a Facebook fan page, I was your guy. And then what happened moving forward now is more people got into this, okay, experts found out about this, and then they came across, and now what we're doing is we're focusing on Facebook applications, because now very few people know about these Facebook marketing applications, how they can use them, and that's one of the reasons we've been able to position ourselves ahead of the market, because we know about Facebook applications. And it's enabled us to bring on a number of different clients, okay, large clients, clients that have paid, or, or that have paid us a lot of money. We're working with now Fortune 500 companies, as a result, of being ahead of the market. Now, is that point understood by everyone? Does everyone understand that if you position yourself ahead of the market, you find out something that the experts don't know about that's ahead of their learning, okay? Then what you can do is you can position yourself as an expert and get paid a lot of money. Does everyone understand that? Say yes if that's clear. Say no if it's not. It's totally okay if that's not clear. If I haven't made myself clear, that's okay. I'm kind of crazy sometimes, so um, just let me know. <laughs> and that's okay. Or I'm getting a ton of yeses. I'm getting some absolutes. We've got one no, <laughs> which is okay. So, so Chris, don't worry. We'll go over this again. And uh, we've got, oh, yeah. We've got some yes clear. Yes, sure. Let's continue. Fantastic. So what happened when I discovered these Facebook apps is that I discovered that, hey, well, this is a great opportunity. And, and look at the traffic that these things could drive. I mean, Ben had driven over 200,000 visitors to his website in one single day. So I was suddenly thinking, wow, this is really cool. This is a big opportunity. So what I decided to do is I decided to test it out, and it started to work really well. Then I decided that I'd have that webinar with the subscribers. I said, it's time to have this webinar with the subscribers and tell them about this as well because I'm excited. And one of the big things that we make, make sure we do is because we obviously want to raise up experts. We want to make sure that people are ahead of the market. They have perspective of the market. So the initial thing that we did is we took it right to our subscribers. We held a webinar, and on that webinar, everyone was really excited. The, the response was more the, than positive. Okay, everyone was excited to do this, basically like begging me to say, hey, well, how, how on earth do I do this? How can I do this myself? And um, I said, well, go to Odesk, find a, find a Facebook programmer, and start creating these applications that look like this. So people started off and, and doing off and doing that. And one of the things at the time that I had as well as a business partner, and this partner of mine, we got on really well, and I'd introduced him to these Facebook apps. Ben had hit me up, and I'd introduced him, my partner, to this. And I was like, hey, just test this stuff out. And he's a guy that had a lot of experience with affiliate marketing. So what he did is he started applying this, and he generated three thousand dollars within his first couple of weeks. Okay, first couple of weeks, it's actually about three thousand dollars per week. So first week three thousand dollars, second week three thousand dollars, and it was exploding for him. And then what happened is suddenly he disappeared. I, I found it really hard to get a hold of him, and in the end, the business partnership basically split up. And what I found out about about a month later is that. He had actually got an offer from a big company. Um, they were going to dedicate all their marketing um, to this particular application, about $100,000 to this application, so they could start um, doing this in their marketing. Okay, They saw that this was really, really um, a really big opportunity, and they wanted to make sure that they were able to run with it as much as possible. But I'm one of those guys that really believes that you should turn any negative into a positive. So my first thought was, this really sucks, <laughs> but what am I going to do about it? So I thought that, wow, there's an opportunity with businesses here that I'm not really exploring as much as I should. So what I did is I decided that, well, I'll go out and I'll, I'll find a business. So I went and approached one of these restaurants. And I, I sat down with the business owner. And I remember I was I didn't really have a lot to show them because I hadn't really done too many tests with this. I knew that they worked. Um, so I showed them the case studies. I showed them, first of all, the case studies that Ben was having and how he'd driven this much traffic in one particular day. And I also showed them the case study of Robert, okay, Robert Grant, who had generated over $160,000 with one of his Facebook contests. And I showed this business this. I laid it out for them. And suddenly I got... I got the feedback from them that, wow, this is really, really cool. And I saw their li eyes light up in front of me. And they said, well, how much is it going to cost? And I said, well, okay, um, $1,500. And the guy signed a check right on the spot. And here's what happened. I started applying this to this business. Okay, I was in Auckland. I was in Auckland, New Zealand. I used to live in Auckland. And what happened is, within a matter of days, suddenly the traffic spiked on his page. And we suddenly had 42,000 people join this page within a really quick quick period of time as a result of this Facebook app. And he generated a ton of leads as a result of this. So immediately, 
these applications were showing that they were successful. So I had a proven model. I had a proven system. And then I started looking out there. I started looking at these various um, these various businesses that were out there that needed my help. Okay, that businesses that you know had tried to get on Facebook but had had failed. Because right now businesses they are aware that Facebook is massive. They're aware of the opportunity, but they're not sure how to get themselves on on there in a way that's profitable. So what happened is that I suddenly realized that there are literally millions of these businesses across the globe. Okay, that don't know how to get on Facebook. And if I could show them a way of doing that, then I can position myself as an expert. So I started doing this. I started approaching some of these businesses, and I found that the best way and the best businesses that were most responsive to this, okay, the businesses that paid me the most money, were the ones that had tried to get on Facebook but had failed. Okay, they, there was a quiet day. They'd started up a Facebook page. They'd gone to facebook.com slash pages. They'd heard about this from a friend. They'd started up their page, and then they tried really hard to get their page working. But what happened is that it failed as a result of their work because they, they're not experts in Facebook. They don't know what they're doing. So what happened is suddenly they found themselves in a situation where they had a dead Facebook page. So one of the things that I used to would go into businesses with, and one of the things that I always do, is I establish the problem for the business. Now, the problem, once we've established a problem, and we here's how it works. If you can establish a problem for a business, and then you can follow up with a solution to that problem that the business was not aware of, then you're positioning yourself as an expert. And if you can do that, businesses will understand that you're the expert. So when you look at this page, what are some, some of the problems with this page? What are some of the things that you see right now that are not right with this page, that are wrong with this page? Because this is really important. When you can identify these things, you can identify how to improve it, make it better, and position yourself as the expert. So what are some problems with this page right now? Stylish hairdresser. What are some things that you can see that are wrong with this page? We have Carl saying no welcome page. Uh, the link to the law is too long. Okay, there's, there's a link that's too long. Um, layout. The layout's kind of ugly. No fan. No engagement. Okay, there's no fans. Now we haven't quite hit the one that I'm looking for quite yet. Um, type ad. No contact info. Um, looks cluttered. Too many distractions. List building. Where is? The, are we building a list? Now, LA. I have no idea what your name is, but you've got it right. Okay, LA said. There is no call to action. That's the biggest thing that I see with these businesses. That's the biggest problem I see. So often I go into these and these businesses haven't even got any call to action. There's no motivation for anyone going down this page. I mean, if you saw this, would you be motivated to do anything? Would you have any motivation whatsoever? And Maureen's saying no, exactly. You probably go onto this page, then you'd you'd go away because you're like, wow, this is the most ugly page I've seen in my life. This is boring. I'm leaving. So this business doesn't get it because they're they're not an expert in this. They're wondering why is my my page failing. So because we can see this stuff, we can come up to them with solutions. And what the solution that I provide is, I say, well, hey, well, that's great. Okay, well. You know, we've identified these problems, and if you want to solve them, I have access to a Facebook application that will enable you to get your word out about your business, to look professional, and you'll be proud to send people to your page. And the best thing about that is that you'll actually be able to capture people from Facebook and have them walking through your door within a matter of weeks. Would that be interesting to you? And then businesses, you suddenly see that their attitude changes because, wow, suddenly they've found someone who knows what they're doing and knows what they're talking about, about Facebook, who's like a savior to that person and can help them do this. So just like many of the other people that have come through this as well, many of the other people that have applied this strategy have found the problems in various pages, like Luda, for example. Luda, she's a, she's a girl that went through the course, and just the other week, she got on board with three clients for $1,500. Okay, Three businesses paid her $1,500 simply for establishing the problems with their page and then providing a solution, which was a Facebook application, just like Dale as well. Now, I'll go into Dale in a bit. He's actually got a really cool strategy about how he's doing this, but one of the big things about Dale, and one of the things that I want to identify and want to make clear for you today is that Dale had this big thing where he was chasing product after product. And I don't want to ask the question, but how many products have – just have a think about it in yourself. How many products have you bought over the last month? Now, Dale, Dale for years, about seven years, was buying product after product after product. And, you know, that's fine. That's cool. There's no problem with that. But the problem was – there is a problem with that, but um, that's not the issue. 
Okay, the problem was that he would go ahead and he would buy product after product after product, but the products were just products. They didn't actually give him and provide him with an A to Z solution. They didn't tell him, this is the first step you take, this is the second step you take, this is the third step you take, this is how you do this business. None of them showed him that, none of them told him that. What they did is they gave him a software or a product. So he got a lot of information, but he never got a system that he could implement and make money with. And the problem that I see, and the big reason that so many people fail online, and the, the reason I see this everywhere, and one of the things that I worked out early on, I was very fortunate to do that, was that I saw product after product out there. And I would see these products, and the problem with these products is they'd give you one strategy, okay, one strategy that wouldn't allow you to make money. It wasn't fully pieced together. It was just one, it was just like a product, okay, it was just there. It was one thing. And then you had to buy another product to get the rest of the piece, okay, the rest of the puzzle. You had to go out and buy another product, okay? And they weren't really systems. So you want to purchase and you want to look at systems opposed from products because systems, what systems do is they give you the A to Z solution. They tell you everything that you need to do every step of the way to become successful. And if you choose systems, then it's far more beneficial to you because you'll have more opportunity to make money because you know all the different steps. It's kind of like a franchise versus a business. Why are franchises so much more successful than businesses <laughs> ratio-wise? Okay, why, is this, why does that happen? is because businesses, business owners, when they start up a new business, they're jumping in alone, okay? They don't have much clue about their market. They don't have much clue. They make a lot of mistakes as a result of not having all the pieces to the puzzle. But what a franchise does is it has all the pieces laid out. It has all the steps laid out. It has the strategy laid out. It is everything that that franchise owner needs in order to run a successful franchise. So what you want to do is you want to look for franchises opposed from businesses because what that'll mean is that you have every single step of the way. And this is one of the things that I encourage businesses to do as well. Now, well, one of the things that I do, and one of the most important reasons that um, that I'm able to help these businesses in the way that I, I do, is because I always, and I always do this, is I describe and I, I actually show them systems opposed from a Facebook app. I never call what it is that I have a Facebook application to a business. What I call it is a Facebook system because what does that communicate? It communicates that I have a system that will work over and over again. So those past, past results, okay, those things that you've seen case studies, those case studies that I show them of past businesses I've helped, I've been able to get those results because I have a system that does this. When it's implemented, it drives traffic, it captures leads, and then after that, it has those leads walking through your door. A post from just an application. If you install on your page, you generate leads, okay? I have a system. When you have a system, what is another benefit of that? You've got something that's unique to you and also communicates to that business that when they apply it, what happens or when it's applied to their business, they'll get the same results as people in the past who applied that same system. Is this making sense to everyone? Does everyone understand that? Say yes if you understand. This is an important point. So look for systems in your own business, but also communicate that you have a system to others in their business because when you communicate you have a system that you can help those businesses with, you'll be able to position yourself to make far more money. And the truth is that we do have a system as well. Okay, We've got a formula. This works over and over again because we have a formula that makes it work. Robert Grant has a friend, and his friend did the same type of Facebook application contest that he did around the same time. He generated 60,000 visitors, okay, more visitors than Robert did back to his contest. Why was Robert's more successful than his? By the way, this guy made no money. He made no money out of this, cont out of this, out of this application. Why was Robert's more successful than his? The answer is obvious. It's because Robert had a system that worked and this guy didn't. Okay, Robert knew that in order to make his contest successful, he needed to, uh, to basically target his traffic, make sure his traffic was targeted and qualify them. This other person didn't know how to do that, so he had basically a ton of unqualified leads, whereas Rob had a ton of qualified leads. And that's how we do this, and that's how we establish the value to a business. Then what I do, and the next step that I take, is I go ahead and I say that the average user, the average user on Facebook has 130 friends. And the average Facebook user spends 30 minutes a day on Facebook. Now, there are currently over 800 million people on Facebook. Now, if you're on this webinar listening to this right now, do you think your customers are on Facebook right now? Say yes if you do. Do you think your customers are on Facebook? There are 800 million people on Facebook. Do you think your customers are on Facebook right now? I'm getting a ton of yeses coming through. Heck yeah. <laughs> we're getting some good enthusiasm. I like it. Um, we're getting, yes, definitely, Marcus is saying. Now everyone's saying heck yeah. Fantastic. 
So why am I establishing this to a business? Why do I say this to a business? Why do I ask them? Why do I establish? There are 800 million people on Facebook. 800 million people on Facebook. Are you customers on Facebook? And they say yes. Because when I say that, when I say that, businesses suddenly wake up to the opportunity that is Facebook, the fact that they do have customers on Facebook, the fact that they can be making money on Facebook, but they simply are not right now. They wake up to that fact. And what it means from my perspective is that suddenly I'm awakening them to the fact that they do have customers on Facebook. And then I ask, well, how much money are you making from Facebook right now? If they say zero, then it's establishing to them that they're currently not using Facebook the way that they should. And it's very easy for me then to say, well, okay, well, I have a Facebook application that can change that for you. Okay, this is what it'll do. Then I lead into obviously showing them what this thing can do and how it can position them much better. And then after that, what it'll do is I'll show case studies to back that up. Why do I show case studies? Because it establishes a return on investment. Businesses, if they're going to invest, they want to see a return on investment. If they can see that clearly and they can see themselves making money, just like past businesses, past case studies, then what happens is that they're more than willing to move forward with it as well. So in order to demonstrate this, I also need to share with them how valuable leads on Facebook can be. Because Facebook leads are not like any leads, okay? They're different, okay? You have to deal with them a different way. They're different to other leads out there. So I show them this case study right here. I show them Robert Grant's case study. And what I do is I show them this, and I say to them, this is how much was generated. Robert generated over 20,000 visitors back to his, his contest, okay? Then after that, he turned those into 3,000 leads, which isn't bad, right? But out of that, he made over $164,000, which means that every single lead that came through his funnel was worth $51. Now, for those of you who are involved with CPA, is that a good cost per lead? Okay, is that a good cost per lead? Is that a uh, value per lead, I should say? Is that a good value per lead? Do you think you can make a lot of money if you had <laughs> $51 coming in from every lead you caught? Totally. Now, this doesn't happen for everyone, obviously, and this is a very rare case where um, Robert had done it so well that he made a lot of money out of this. Okay, it was in a product launch he was doing online. And one of the big things about this is that I can demonstrate this to a business and they can see that money is there to be made on Facebook. So when this all happened and when I started going into this and looking at, at ways that I could go out and, and make money with helping businesses, uh, about my third business, a real big problem reared its head, a really big problem. And it's important that I mention this because um, this will really show you what it is like for your competition. Because what happened with me is that I was suddenly sitting down with the business, and this is about the third business I had. They're a restaurant, and I showed them about the case studies. I talked about the apps. I talked about how much they'd be able to do with the system that, I, that I've implemented for these other clients of mine. And their eyes were, they were really happy about it. Okay? They couldn't wait to get started. What they said is they said, well, okay, this is great. We'll do it with this business, but we actually have 13 other businesses. We have 13 other businesses. So... What I said is I said, well, okay, um, that's great, but, and I was thinking at the time, I, I was thinking, wow, that's a lot of money. I'm, I'm, I'm going to learn a lot of money out of this deal. I'm going to like this deal. But then I also was quite scared, I guess, in a way, because currently what was happening is that these applications would take developers, the developers we had, about two weeks to complete, and they're also costing us about $2,000 per application we generated, two to $3,000 per application we generated. So suddenly I was thinking, well, this isn't really, I mean, this is going to be a big project. So I thought, well, what is the easiest way I could do this? What is the easiest way we can actually make money with this? So what I decided to do is I decided to go to elance.com. Now, who uses, who's used elance.com before? Now, I'd always had positive experiences with elance.com. They've always treated me well. Um, but what happened is I went to elance.com, and I had this big vision, right? I had this big vision that I was going to start up this marketing agency and would have so, suddenly tons of developers creating all these different applications for clients across the world. And... Um, and basically, I went, I went into elance.com and I posted a job. And I said I needed developers. I needed a team of developers who were good with Facebook. And I found one that I thought was really, really good. I felt really good about it. And I went forward with them. And what happened is that I soon found out about two weeks later that when they were asking for more money to fix up the application, which they had they basically left given to me with, with a ton of bugs in it, um, that these were not the people for me. These are not the people that were able to do this for me because basically what they did is I invested in a test with them, about $3,000, and what happened is that I wasn't able to make any money out of that because the application they gave me was buggy. Now, can everyone hear me clearly right now? Is my mic okay? Okay, is it clear? 
Is it loud and clear, or is it having some fading in and out issues? Okay, cool. Um, we're getting some clears, we're getting some foggies, we're getting some no's, we're getting some fuzzies, we're getting some clears, some fading, loud and clear. Okay, cool. For the majority of people, it seems that it is good. What I'm going to do is I'm, gonna, I'm just going to change its position and see if that helps. So what I'll do is I'll put it down here, and hopefully that'll help. All right, that's better. Okay, cool. So what happened is they basically took my money and ran. <laughs> and I was in a situation then where I was thinking, well, okay, this is not good. Um, well, I need someone. So I, I started going to my networks and I started asking people, how on earth can I, do you know anyone who's good with Facebook development? development? Okay, do you know anyone who's good with Facebook and Act and any of that technical stuff? And I found this guy right here. Now, when I found him, he was working for his uncle. And I basically, <laughs> I, I literally went ahead and I bought him a car and I bought him a, a house. And I joke around and, and say that I literally bought him a wife. Basically, the question I asked him, I said, well, what do I have to do to take you away from your uncle? What do I have to do to move you from your uncle so you come and work with us? Because I really wanted this guy, and I knew that he could take the business to where we needed it, needed it to go. And uh, and that was the sort of sacrifice. In India, they have um, arranged marriages quite frequently, and it's very attractive for a woman um, if the male has a car and a house. Um, so I was able to help him with that, and he was able to help me, obviously, develop apps. So we started developing these applications for small and large businesses. As Nish says, and running water. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, so we started running, uh, developing these businesses for small and large corporations. And these are some of the earlier ones we did. Okay, well, these are some of the earlier ones we did. And these are coupon applications. Basically, people will go through. We capture them into our list and all of that. And we started installing these for many of the businesses out there. And then we started seeing some certain things that made contests and, and Facebook apps more effective on some of the campaigns we ran. What we found is that because we were able to get results, but one of the big contributors was that we always needed a way of utilizing Facebook's viral nature. We also needed a software app that connects with events, pages, and shares on news feeds. We also needed uh, something general that was mass market, and this is what we came up with. We suddenly combined all of our experience, all of our knowledge in Facebook apps, all of the case studies, the tests that we'd done, and we came up with what we felt was the ultimate Facebook application. Okay, one that would allow people to allow us to capture leads, one that would allow people to spread. And it was basically a Facebook contest that looks like this. Now, when you look at this, does this look kind of cool? Okay, does this look pretty cool? If your style is hairdresser and you have an ugly page, um, and, and you install this on your page, would you feel kind of good about that? Would you feel comfortable to send people to your page? Say yes if that's the case. Would you feel kind of cool about this? Okay, would you be kind of proud? It's kind of it's a cool design. It looks pretty professional. It has a high perceived value. Do you think a business would be willing to pay us three thousand dollars for this? Because that's how much this business paid us to do that. Okay, three thousand dollars for a Facebook application, and that was for setup. So. Basically, we've, we've also made it now that I know that we're looking on this not timeline, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we generate this on this webinar. I'm going to show you live. I'm actually going to generate this, this application that a business has paid us $3,000 for. Now, this is how it works. So basically, we have um, this right here, which is uh, this, this, uh, this is the starting thing. We basically call them to act. Then after that, what happens is it pops up this box, which allows them to share it with their friends and also allows them to receive updates. We can connect and capture them into our list as leads. Then it takes them to a thank you page where they can like and share a page as well. And what's impressive is that this is the best. Over the experiences we've had and the experience we've had in the past, we found out there are two real main contributors to successful Facebook apps. Okay, the first one is that we needed good code. If we're going to run this business, we needed to make sure that we had good code, that we were using code that was actually effective, that would work for us, and that we can improve on and upgrade and update later on if we needed. But we found that um, bad code obviously was not good because just like Elance's story that we found that, hey, bad code was a, was a bad thing for us. We also needed a way of creating these within a matter of minutes, okay? We wanted to make sure that we could do these without develop, having to buy each new developer a new house. So that's when the uh, marketing agency was founded. That's when I started up this marketing agency headed by this guy that knew a lot about Facebook apps. And we started building out a generator called Condo Sales Engine. And this is a right here. Now, basically what this is, is, this is a generator that will allow us to create these applications so simply, and uh, we can literally do it in a matter of seconds if we really want to, but I'm going to say a matter of minutes if we walk through it fairly slow. So 
What's happened is since people have been able to use this, we've had a number of people become successful. Mo Goulet, for example, has been able to go into this business and now he's generating an income of over $20,000 per month as a result of helping businesses with Facebook. James Park, the first Facebook application he sold, the first Facebook application, the first business he helped, he made $31,000 as a result of that. $31,000 for simply installing one Facebook application. And it was made over $60,000 over the past three months as a result of helping businesses with these Facebook apps. Now you've heard about Dale, but I wanted to focus on this guy right here, this young guy right here. His name is Yella. And he's a 15 year old from the Netherlands. Okay, and one of the big things about Yella is that basically he went out now he's a young guy. Yell's a young guy, 15 years old. He didn't want to do what others were doing in schools. Okay, he he didn't want to do um, what others were doing, and and also have obviously the uh, the thing where he was actually, as I dropped my mic, where he was in a situation where um, he was basically going to school and working on the side. Um, cleaning or doing what kids do at that age to make money. He wanted to go into business and his mom was supportive, supportive of that. She bought him a course about how to do this. Okay, She bought him a course about um, basically how to send out emails to get businesses on board. It was one of my past courses and he started to implement it. And Now who's the kid here? Just say yes if you've got a kid that's in, in their teens because you'll know this more than anyone. Um, Jennifer's saying yes. We've got Maureen saying no. Uh, Donnie's saying yes. We've got a number of yeses coming through. And, and now your teen, one of the one of the things that I'm really passionate about is obviously young people getting into business. I was into business at a young age, and one of the things that was really interesting about Yella and was interesting about teens in general and, and kids is that they don't really have any limitations. They have far less limitations than us, and they feel like anything is okay. Um, so when I would be thinking, well, approaching a multi-million dollar company at the age of 15. Uh, like Alcatel is probably a bad idea and I'll probably get shot down. Um, Yella thought, well, okay, why not? So Yella basically put together an email and we showed him how to do it in the course and he went ahead and he sent out this email to this business. And uh, basically within a couple of days, he had a response from this business and they wanted to talk to him about the Facebook apps that he had um, told them about. Now, what happened is that he made $3,500 as a result of signing on board Alcatel with a Facebook application. Now, here's what he did. Now, obviously, this is a guy that's from Holland. He's 15 years old, and I don't know if you'd call this guy a Facebook expert, but because he has an app that people want, he's a Facebook expert, okay? So Alcatel came to him because he's a Facebook expert. They, they, they decided to go forward with him because they perceived him as a Facebook expert. Now, whether he's a Facebook expert or not, I don't know. He's a guy that was able to sign up one of these businesses with a Facebook app, and he was able to build a Facebook app for them. But the question is, would you hire this guy? Probably not, right? So how is he able to get on board a business like Alcatel to pay him $3,500? Well, here's exactly what he did. He went ahead and he first of all sent out this email. And he sent out this email and basically what it says is it says that, hey, this is your page, I've seen your page, and I'm a Facebook expert, I do this, okay, these are the type of applications that I apply to businesses. These are the types of applications I apply to businesses. He sent it out, what happened is he got a response, and then he managed to get this business on Facebook, uh, on Skype, sorry, on Skype, in a text conversation, um, describe what the app was gonna do, how it would look, and then go forward and build it for this business. And as a result, he got paid $3,500 and, and was able to do that, okay? Now, who's the salesperson here? Just say yes if you're a salesperson. If you're crazy, um, you're insane, say yes, I'm a salesperson. If you're not, just say no. Um, now, one of the big things that I see is that when people do stuff that they're not uncomfortable with, and they run businesses they're uncomfortable with, they never succeed in them because they're uncomfortable with the business. They self-sabotage. So it's important that you do what you're comfortable with. Now, if you're crazy like David and you're insane and you want to go ahead and be a salesperson, then you can do that, okay? You can go ahead and you can call up these businesses. You don't have to worry about email. You can just call them up and say, hey, I've got something to sell you. And you can sell them on it and make a lot of money with that. You've got a gift. And it's very good that you're actually a salesperson because you've got a number of things that will present themselves as opportunities as a result of having that. But if you're not a salesperson, okay, if you're not a salesperson, if you're one of the ones that says no, um, then you want to stick to your strengths. You want us to stick to, to strategies and things that don't mean that you have to get in front of people and sell them. So what you can do is you can go ahead and send out emails about this business. Now, one of the big things about this is that you can send out emails just like Yella did and get success. Okay, We actually had a lady call up just a matter of weeks ago. And she was so excited. We'd given her these email swipes, and we basically said, this is the strategy. You go out, you email these businesses, okay? You send out 40, 40 emails within the first week, and then wait for a response from these businesses, and then sell them on your Facebook apps. 
Now, this lady, she was in university, and she called me up and she said, well, basically, she'd sent out 40 emails, okay, within a week, and she was doing it part-time, and then she got four responses for businesses where the business was actually really interested in getting involved, and she actually ended up signing on four of them. So she suddenly had $1,500 for each of these businesses. She generated $6,000 as a result of sending out 40 emails to these businesses that had Facebook pages that, are interest, uh, that were interested in this stuff, that were targeted, and she had made a lot of money as a result of that. And she was finally like, wow, okay, finally I have a strategy that allows me to make money online. And my girlfriend, for example, does the same thing. Um, Eva, she actually has a business now which generates or has over 100 clients paying her on a monthly basis. 90% of those clients have come on board as a result of Eva, first of all, emailing them. So you can run this business by simply email, sending out emails and find success as well. Now, here's what I look for in a successful system online. And here's one of the things that I noticed early on that you want to look for in every su su successful system online, okay? Systems with proof. You want a system that has expert knowledge. You also want a system that is easy to apply, and you want something that has a high perceived value as well. You agree that the Facebook apps, they have a high perceived value. Then after that, what you want to do is you want to implement a strategy like this. Okay, this is the one that Robert Grant did. Basically, what he had is he, first of all, as you can see in this diagram right here, he had connected with Facebook. That led them to this email capture where he captured their email. Then he was taken to a thank you page. Then after that, an email promotion was sent out, another email promotion was sent out promoting the product, and then a winner was announced on a live webinar, where on that live webinar they could also sell product. And here's the formula that allowed him to be successful with the contest he ran. Here's the exact formula he applied, so you can basically copy this, and you can talk about this to businesses, and show them this exact formula as well, which is going to enable you to be separate from your competition, and also show them and demonstrate that you have a system that will help them become successful with Facebook. So what it is, is it's I plus Q equals V plus S. What does that mean? Well, incentivize is the first point. Incentivize. How do we incentivize? Well, first of all, we want to incentivize by going and using an application that updates on the news feed. So basically on Facebook, we have a number of different profile pages. Everyone has a profile page. If you're on Facebook right now, you'll have a profile page. And you also have a news feed that shows all the actions of the friends in your network. Now, all of your friends get to see your action and uh, actions in their network as well, in their news feeds. So any actions you take is seen in that news feed. So you want to make sure that the incentive for people to click through after seeing the application, that you've gone through this application in their news feed, um, you want to make sure that the incentive is relevant. It has to be general and it has to be really motivating for them to click through and want to have a look at this contest as well. Then after that, what we're doing is we're qualifying them. Then the main difference between Robert Grant's friend and Robert Grant, and the reason that Robert Grant was successful or his friend was not, is that he was able to qualify his audience. Wouldn't you agree that it's better to have targeted leads, okay, a small amount of targeted leads, than a large amount of untargeted leads? If you've got a small amount of targeted leads, those people will be fans of your business. They'll spread the word about your business, which brings me to V plus, Q, v plus S. But basically what we're doing is we're getting on fans, then those fans are generating the traffic by sharing our message virally and with the share buttons that Facebook allows us to have available to us. So we've got this viral share that's happening. So here's how Dale Calder was generating all his clients. Now I want to reveal to you a strategy that will show you basically how to find clients on Facebook, how to find businesses, find the business owners so you can email them, and also find literally thousands upon thousands of pages that are hungry right now for this stuff. Okay, find thousands upon thousands of pages that are hungry for this stuff. And now who's interested in that? Okay, is anyone interested in that or should I skip on to the next point? I know that I want to. There's actually some other things I want to uh, show you, but who's who's excited by that? Who who's excited and who wants to move forward with that? And if you want me to move to the next step, just let me know. Okay, cool. All right, cool. We're getting a, a ton of people saying yes, 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 yes. Um, explain this one. Fantastic. Sounds interesting to me. Terry saying, go ahead. And we're going to couple people saying, go ahead, move on. Um, people excited about the app generator being shown. Okay, cool. What I'll do is I'll show you right now. I'll show you these two strategies right now, and I'll go through exactly what Dale is doing. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Facebook. So let's go to Facebook.com. Now, this is my Facebook account right here. As you can see, my news feed is right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to search, first of all, for just a random hairdresser. So let's just search for a random hairdresser, just like this. Let's go to the top one, urban hairdresser. Cool. 
All right. So what this business has is basically a page, and it's a Facebook timeline page. Now, would you agree that this business right now, when you look at it, okay, it's got about 164 likes. It has a cool image up here, but there's no real call to action. Does this business need our help right now? Is this the type of business that might be interested in what it is that we have? Cool, they've just switched on to timeline, so they're probably interested in how they can promote their page with this new platform. They're obviously active, so they're interested in what it is that Facebook has to offer. But they've only got a small amount of friends. So what we want to do is we want to get in the mindset of the business owner. How do we get in the mindset of the business owner? We simply think, what is the business owner thinking? <laughs> it's an easy, easy answer. So when a business owner starts this page, what have they most likely done? What have they most likely done? They've probably started their page. They've first of all added their image. They've added maybe an image here. And then what they're thinking is, well, this is my page, okay? So I want to show that my page is popular. So what they're probably doing is they're probably going to update their status with something like this, okay? They're probably going to update their status to make their page look popular and active. So what we can do is we can go to the bottom, okay? We can search down the updates and find personal posts or also the first initial post that has been made by this business. So let's just try this for example. This is a, a, a personal part. This is a personal image that's probably been taken by the business owner. So what we can do is we can click on the people that have liked this image, okay, as a personal post or the first update on this page, and we can go through and we can have a look at who might be the business owner here. So let's just look through. Lucy, probably not. Urban hairdresser, obviously not. Ken Michaels, probably not. Majory Urban has Urban as her last name. So probably it's safe to say that she is the business owner. So what we can do is we can click on this. We can click on her image. We go through to her page. And then we've got uh, her profile page. Okay, We have a number of bits and pieces of information about her. We can go into the About section. And what we can find is we can find her phone number. We can find her address. We can find her website. And we can also find an email that we can email her on about the Facebook apps that we have. Now, one of the big things about uh, about this, okay, one of the big things about this is that this is the case, about 90% of business pages out there. We can go to most of the business pages out on Facebook and have a look down the bottom, find personal posts or posts that have been the first one to be updated on the page, and we can find the business owner very simply by finding their profile and finding the email attached. So who thinks that's a cool strategy? Who, who now understands that and who, who thinks they could do that themselves? Who thinks they could find the business owner? Do you think you can? Just say yes if you think you can. Fantastic. We have a number of yeses coming through. So then, then we have the, the contact details. Okay, we have the contact details um, for this particular business owner. Then what we can do is we can go ahead and we can find a directory of thousands and thousands of these Facebook pages just like this one that needs our help. Where do we find that? We go to socialbakers, socialbakers.com. Okay, socialbakers.com. And what Social Bakers is, is it's basically a website dedicated to various insights, Facebook insights and Facebook stats. But I'm not really interested in that. What I'm interested in is Facebook pages. So I go to this pages section right here. And what I can find is literally millions of these pages that need our help. Okay, there's different tags. So we can search for places. We can search for software companies. We can search for games that are on Facebook. We can search for writers, film, people, all sorts that are on Facebook. We can even search by country. But here's what I like to do. I go to the bottom of the page right here. And I search through just the pages till I find the businesses that have between 100 and 300 likes. I look at those businesses and I look for those businesses because the ones that have between 100 and 300 fans on Facebook are the ones that have tried really hard to get themselves on Facebook in the right type of way. They're the ones that have really pushed themselves to try and make Facebook work. The problem is that it hasn't worked for them, okay? They've worked really, really hard. And I know that if you don't know what you're doing on Facebook, it's very hard to generate over 100 fans. These business owners have done it, but they've probably tried really hard to do that. So what's going to happen is they're going to be really appreciative, okay? They're going to really appreciate an expert showing them how it's done. They're going to really appreciate someone being able to help them with that side of things so they can take it off their plate and they can stop worrying about it. And someone who can actually make sure that they get a return on the investment. So find the pages that have between 100 and 300 likes, click through into those pages and find the business owner. Then you can send out a simple email to the business owner and make money using that, okay? Doing that strategy. 
strategy, you can make money doing that just like they'll do. You just simply send out an email just like this that shows exactly who you are, what their page is, what you do, show them an example of a Facebook app, and then if they're interested, they'll get back to you. And as a result of that, you can get paid a lot of money. How much do we get paid? Well, we get paid initially $1,500, okay? We get paid $1,500 for the initial setup of this Facebook application. But if you're like me, you want to build a business. Who here wants to build a business? Say yes if you want to build a business, because if you want to build a business, you'll understand the importance of reoccurring income. Who understands the importance of reoccurring income? Recurring income means that you can be unplugged from your business. If you want freedom in your life, if you had said you want freedom in your life, more time with your family, the chance to unplug from your, your nine to five, if you can get recurring income coming in, then you can make a lot more money. So what we do is we go ahead, we charge a one-off setup cost. Okay, we charge a one-off setup cost. Once we've set up that application for that business, we're then charging a $300 to $500. That's what's recommended. People do charge more and less of $300 to $500 for hosting, okay, we host the application for them, we give them support, so basically anytime they need our help, they can call us up and we're there for them, and the thing about businesses is because they're so busy, they'll never take you up on that, it's just there, and they feel comfortable at that. What we'll also do as an extra, if we really want to, is we will send out a newsletter, an electronic newsletter via email to this business once a month to all the businesses we have, it takes about literally a, few, a couple of hours to do, and we charge also for that. And what that email does is it keeps them up to date with the changes that are happening in Facebook. So they feel like they're always kept in the loop. We do that. We can charge a monthly on a monthly basis for that. And that's why my, my girlfriend has been able to generate over 100 clients paying her on a monthly basis in her business as a result of following this strategy. Charging a setup cost, then after that, she charges monthly for the services she provides. And then what happens is we have a situation like Mo. Now, Mo, basically, what he did is he started back in February of last year. He started using Facebook content, or Facebook pages, I should say. They moved more into Facebook apps. Now, Mo has outsourced everything in his business. Because he's got reoccurring income coming in, because he knows always that he's going to be generating X amount every single month, what happens is that he knows that he can unplug from his business whenever he wants. So he's unplugged from his business. He's generating $20,000 profit per month, and he doesn't have to do any of the work because he has an all outsourced. Now, who would like a business like that? Who would like a business where you completely outsource the thing so you don't have to do any of the work, you just get paid the money because that is what a true business owner is. You never see the, the, the CEO of Wal the, the founder of Walmart or the founder of of even Apple or any of that, doing the work that others can do for them. You never see that, okay? They're the business owners, so they position themselves as a business owner. And so often online, we get caught up in this whole factor that we need to be the business owner ourselves. We need to do everything ourselves. Whereas in this business, if you get reoccurring income coming in, you can just simply get others to do the work for you so you don't have to do any of the work. You can unplug from the business and get the freedom you want. And if these guys have been able to do it, then surely, why can't you? So basically what I've shown you so far is I've shown you a strategy that will enable you to find businesses. I've shown you a strategy of emailing those businesses and also how to find the business owners. Then what I've shown you is how to charge for that and how you can make money with that and a bit of information about, about the fact that you want to charge reoccurring income. So the last step, the last thing that's sort of outlaying, the last thing that's not covered yet is how do you generate these Facebook applications in a way that's easy, that's simple, and the businesses want to pay you a lot of money for? Because I haven't discussed that yet. So who would like to see that? Who would like to see me now, within literally a matter of minutes, generating an application that previously took us about two weeks to do, and it cost us about $1,500 $2,000 to get a developer to do this, and now I can do it within a matter of minutes and for almost free. Okay, who is interested in that? Say, yes, I'm ready if you're interested in that. Say, hell yeah, or, or say whatever you want to say. Um, to demonstrate. Okay, cool. All right, we're getting a number of people. Everyone's so ready. I'm so ready, Randy's saying. All right, this is the part of it. I really enjoy this because um, I know how hard it was for us to get to the stage, and I know that the, the benefits now um, in doing this and having this available to us. So what I'll do is I'll go to social sales engine. Dot com, and I'm just going to turn off my screen just for a second now as I go ahead and uh, and go ahead and find this um, page that I need in order to generate this. And let me show you what kind of uh, page we're going to create as well. We're going to create a new timeline page, so we're going to create something that is completely new that many people have not seen before because it it works with Facebook timelines. Okay, many people worry about Facebook timelines right now. For us, um, we're we're it's really good because we can go to businesses and say, well, yeah, we actually do have updated timelines available to you now. 
So we're able to do that. And I'm going to show you the type of Facebook page we're going to generate, how it's going to look, how it's going to feel, what it's going to do. And then what we'll do from there is we'll move on and uh, we'll generate this Facebook application um, very, very easily and very simply. So we're almost there. All right. So here we are, showing the screen. So can everyone see this now? Just say yes if you can see this. If you can see my screen right now, just say yes. Okay, cool. All right, so first of all, when you're dealing with businesses, one of the most important things, one of the things that people forget, if you bought a Facebook course, a Facebook generator, a Facebook anything online, it needs to fit in with Facebook's terms and conditions. Facebook are quite strict with its terms and conditions that you need to fit in with it, and if you don't, they'll boot you off their platform. So when we're dealing with clients, we always make sure that we fit in with Facebook's terms and conditions, so we, we've made sure that our Facebook app, our contest, is compliant. So it fits in with all of Facebook's terms and conditions and is fully compliant with Facebook, so we didn't have the risk of a client turning around to us and asking us, why was my contest taken down? Why was my application taken down? We've made sure that all that risk is removed so that it will simply just work within Facebook's terms and conditions. So in order to fit in with Facebook's terms and conditions, we first of all just need to simply tick this agreement, we submit it to generate our application, and then we're taken to the first step. Now the application we're going to generate today is going to be the Fortune Cookies application. So let me show you what I mean. So there's this application right here, okay, we're going to generate something for this page right here, this Fortune Cookies page right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to open up another window in Facebook. I'm going to show you Fortune Cookies example. The application we're going to generate for this page is going to mean that it can run a contest from its page. So I'll just go to Fortune Cookie example and I'm just going to move into this and see more results. So we're just going to find this fortune cookies example. If I can find it, the page, all right, what we'll do is we'll create a new page. What I like to do is I always like to test out, before we do anything, I like to test out um, that we're making sure that, that everything's working, basically, that everything's working as it should. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to facebook.com slash pages to start off with. I'm going to create a new page from the ground up and just show you this whole process in action. So what you do with the, pay, the business first off, facebook.com slash pages. Go to this browser here, you create a new page. Now we're going to choose a local business or place, or we can choose brand or product online. Now Fortune Cookies, Fancy Fortune Cookies, is a brand or product online. So let's just choose from this selection right here. It's a website which sells Fortune Cookies. So we'll say this is Fortune Cookies example. And you can take apps on and off various pages wherever you want. So I'll just create and get started with this. We're going to upload a computer, uh, an image for my page. So let's first off start off with this. We'll go ahead and we'll find our image, Fortune Cookies, and we'll go ahead and we will save this photo. As we wait for it to upload, and it's uploading still. Okay, it's taking a wee while. Sometimes what happens is Facebook has these minor issues, which means that photos just take a long period of time at times. So let's just skip that for now, and we'll continue. Cool, and we'll just say we'll provide a basic info for Fortune Cookies, um, Fortune Cookies, and we'll just say example to link a website, that's okay. We will save info and continue. All right, we'll go to Fortune, fancy, fortunecookies.com. Save info and continue. Cool, now our page has been generated. So what we're gonna do is we're first of all gonna go ahead and we're going to skip out of this quick tutorial that Facebook seems necessary, S skip this. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a Fortune Cookies application. Okay, a Fortune's application for this page as this, page, as this photo still uploads. So the first step that we need to take in creating one of these applications is we need to go back to our generator and we first of all need to name this application, okay, name this contest. So what are we going to call it? Well, it needs to be something specific to this contest. It needs to be something that's specific and that says something about the contest and about what we're doing. So let's just go fancy Fortune Cookie contest. 
Cool. We'll run it for 30 days. You're going to get 10 points for joining, 20 points for liking, 30 points for sharing. So with the actions that people take, they can get points for. Now, would you go ahead and just go fan page link to like? So we'll go ahead to our fan page link. It's this link up here. Okay. It's this uh, link. If we go back one, I'll just go stay on this page. And we'll just go ahead and we'll just make sure that we've got the right page here. So I'm just going to go back. Fortune cookies, leave this page, click on this. And it's this link up here. So we're going to copy this link up here. I'm going to go back to application, and we'll just paste this in here. Proceed to next step. Cool. Now this takes us to the generator. Now this is the drag and drop generator that allows us to basically code these within a matter of minutes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to make sure that we've first of all set our background to white. So we just drag and drop that. We click on this, drag and drop it to white. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a background. So let me go over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down and I'm going to find something special here, something important, which is these graphics right here. Now, whenever you do one of these Facebook apps, especially when a business is paying you three thousand dollars to do this, you want to make sure that it looks it looks it looks good. Okay, it has to look good. It has to look professional. So what we have here is we have a professional looking application. So what we've done is I've been to my, some developers, some um, and some graphic designers. Now, basically said, would you be able to create images with these sizes? So what I've got is that we've got this business at this size, we've got this business at this size, and we have a number of other um, images that are at certain sizes as well. Now we have all the images included with this. We also have generic graphics that you can use if you don't want to use a graphic designer, but I like to do that to make it look professional at the start. Cool, so we'll just upload our background, upload and insert. That's been done. Now what we need to do is we need to go across to YouTube. Okay, we need to go across to YouTube and we need to find a, vi a video that's relevant to fancy fortune cookies. So what I do with clients is I either create a video myself using Animoto or go to Fiverr.com. But what we can also do is we can go to YouTube and we can simply type in the name of the business and we can find a video just like this for that business. So let's type on this one. Okay, this one's going to call them to act, and it's basically going to show the people that land on the contest a bit more about the business that they're um, looking at. So we go share. To embed the video, we go share, embed, copy this, and go across. I'm going to go across to, to our generator over here. And yes, Rick, that is correct. And we'll go add video. Now I just need to adjust the size, so it's 450 by 270. Again, we'll go to the top, and we'll just click on down. Cool, 450 by 270. Now I'm just going to check one more thing. Something that I've forgotten here. You always need to use the old embed code. Okay, you always need to use the old embed code. So I'll recopy that. I'll go across, and I'll paste this here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change the sizes again. So the sizes are in there, and the graphic design will provide you with this as well, but it's 270 by 450. 450 by 270. Embed video. And now what we can do is we can just simply drag across this wherever you want it and drop it. Cool. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we've done that. Now we're going to embed uh, Facebook Connect into our app. So we're going to go to Images again. We'll go to Choose File. We'll go to this file right here, Connect with Facebook. We'll open it. Now this FB option right here. Uh, previously, basically, Facebook Connect would have to code it. We'd have to do a lot of, uh, it would take a lot of time to code it. Um, we'd go ahead and we'd have to have a developer to do it for us. But we're just going to click on this FB right here. And we're going to go Upload and Insert because that FB enables us to add Facebook Connect within one click. So we've actually added Facebook Connect, so anytime someone clicks on this button now, they're entered into a contest, they get to, to get the benefit, obviously, of generating leads, okay? They're going to be generated as a lead, and uh, a lot of things will happen as a result of that. Now I'll just add a timer as well. Let's go ahead and we'll make it red. We'll go in size, 52, bold, and we'll also make sure that if I go up here, it's impact, insert. Cool, now I've added that as well. So if I want, to, I want to actually darken that color a bit. So I'll just go back to here. I'll just make sure it's darker. Insert. There we go. That's better. Cool. Let's add that there. Drag and drop. And now go ahead to the leaderboard and just insert. We'll just drag this leaderboard down here. We can use this little arrow thing to resize it. 
drag it across, and then we'll just drag it here, just drag and drop. So who's liking this so far? Is this easy? Does this look easy? Does this look kind of cool? Do you think you could do this? That's the question. Okay, we've got Manish saying yes. <laughs> Pretty simple, right? It's kind of cool. <sighs> And obviously, there's training with this and all that, all that as well that's needed. Um, but it's it's very simple when you start generating these contests. You just simply drag it, you drop it. It's just a text editor or video image editor, I should say. Choose file. We go ahead and we add the reward page, the reward image, upload and insert. And we'll add a button as well. So we're going to add another button. We'll just go ahead here, choose file, and we'll go ahead and we'll add a like button. L. Click, now within one click, they can like this page. Within one click now, they can like this page by clicking this button. We'll also add a share button. Choose file, share, S, and upload and insert. Fantastic, we'll drag that down there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add this timer. So we'll go ahead, we'll add this timer right here. Um, we'll make it red again. Bold, 52, and insert. Cool, we'll just drag that down there. Now what we'll do is we'll just add prizes really quickly. We need to add a grand prize, so we can add grand prize. We'll adjust the color to blue. Bold, and we'll make it large. Insert. Drag that across so it's resized. Done. And we'll just add some more text as well for the contest. So number one, free fortune cookies for a year is the contest. So let's just add that. We'll just go here, 18. We can add that. Let's just resize that and also change the color. Make it red. Let's make it red. And we'll also make it a bit larger. We'll take off bold. Take that away. Insert. There we go. And you can adjust it. You can have images associated with it. And we'll just add a leaderboard as well. And we're going to generate this really quickly, and we'll just go to the next step, proceed to the next step. Cool. Now what we need to do is we've got a privacy policy here. We auto-generate that for you. Now this share message will, sh will show on the news feed of anything that happens. It will show on the news feed of your Facebook page. Okay. So this is how people join. This is why the, where the viral growth occurs. When we'll go through your application, what's going to happen is that they'll be able to basically – Click through and view your, view your application immediately. So we'll just put this as a title. We'll just say um, free fortune cookie contest. We'll call it that. We'll say um, share this with your friends. And we'll also say um, don't miss out on this just for now. Okay, some share messages. Now I need to grab an image that's associated with fortune cookies. So you, what I usually do is I'll email fortune cookies and ask for a logo of them. But what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and I'll just type in the brand name of this business. And yes, John, this will work with all languages. Images. Go to here, click on this, and we'll just copy the image location. Copy image location, URL. We'll drag it across to here, and you'd usually use something, obviously, that's sent by the business, and uh, we'll proceed to the next step. Cool, now we're on to the final step. Now, who's created a Facebook page before? Have you created a Facebook page before on Facebook? Just say yes. Who's created a Facebook page before? You know, Chris saying yes, um, Brandy saying no, that's okay, uh, Mike saying many. Now from here it's just the same process. It's very simple. We just go to facebook.com, the developers.facebook, we go create a new app, we go to app name, we go fortune, fortune cookie app, namespace, which is like our domain on Facebook, so we call this the fortune cookies uh, yum app. So it's just like our domain on Facebook, and we'll continue. Now we just need to enter in this thing to make sure that they know we're human. Submit. Cool, that's been done. And now we're into the next step. So first of all, we need to add an image. We'll add this fortune cookies image if it'll upload. Yep, cool, Facebook's cooperating. We'll add another image here, which is this. And now we need to go to app on Facebook. And we need the Canvas URL and Secure Canvas URL. So how do we get those? Well, what this app does, this app generator, is it auto-generates this URL right here. It auto-generates this URL so we can actually use it as our Canvas URL. And we can also use it as a secure Canvas URL because everything needs SSL. Every single application needs SSL. So we've given, we've got SSL in here as well. So we go ahead, we add those. Then we go to Page tab. We call this the Fortune Contest. 
and we need to add a page tab URL, which is this right here. Copy paste, copy paste, adjust to wide, A10 wide, because of the new Facebook changes. And now what I need to do is I need to go ahead and go back and go ahead and I need to go back and just simply generate this. So I'll just save changes. I'm going to get my app ID. I'm just going to copy this, take it across to here and paste it in here. I'm going to get my Facebook secret key, so I'm just going to take this. I'm going to go across and I'll paste it here. I'm going to get my namespace, go across, copy and paste, and I'm just going to paste it here. Now it generates this link right here, which is going to allow us to add it to our page that we just created. So what I'll do is I'll just search for this page. Cool. I'll find the page that I want to add. So it's Fortune Cookies example. Add Fortune Cookie app. Cool. Now it's been added. So this right here is the new application that we just added. Now we click on this and it's going to show us an error, okay? Setting up pending, okay? Set up pending, basically. So we'll go ahead and we'll just copy this. And we'll go across to this right here. We just paste this in here. We paste this in here. The app URL. And now we want to capture opt-ins. We always want to cap capture opt-in codes um, for Facebook. So I want to make sure that we go ahead and we get our Aweber account or whatever we have. Now, um, what kind of email clients does everyone have right now? What kind of email clients are you using? Just say, say in the chat, is it Aweber? Is it GetResponse? Is it Infusionsoft? What kind of autoresponder right now are you using for yourself or clients that you're helping? Aweber, Aweber. Now, MailChimp's a good one. Kurt's using MailChimp. Now, MailChimp is actually allows you to set up for free. And what that means is basically you can generate 2,000 leads for free without having to pay a cent. So if you're new right now and you don't have an email client, go to MailChimp.com. MailChimp.com. Okay, most people are using Aweber. So let me show you the example using Aweber. So I'll just log in. And we'll go ahead and we'll go to Web Forms. And what it's telling me is it's saying that you cannot do this anymore because your um, billing is no longer available. So I'll just go to Web Forms again. I'll see if it'll do this for me. And uh, what I'll need to do, it looks like, is I will need to go ahead and update my credit card to do that. That's okay. What I'm going to do, <laughs> and uh, this is an older account that I haven't used in a while, is I will ask, David, do you have an account that you can, uh, that you can put on? And we're just going to find out how I can do this. Otherwise, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, I will make sure. And obviously, when you do these live webinars, anything can happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the screen right now. I'm going to quickly update this. So it'll actually let me use this card. This hasn't happened before, and I'm not sure why it's happening now. But I'll quickly update this, and then we will continue to move forward on this webinar. So <laughs> you know it's live when these issues happen, right? So, um, so we'll just find this card right here and I'm going to update my details live on the webinar so everyone can see my number and obviously um, use it to do whatever they want and then we'll continue on with this example. Cool and we'll go ahead, we'll add in these details, we'll add in this and we're almost there. Cool. Now we need to do is go web forms, and hopefully, it will now work for me. Nope, not yet. I need to do one more step, and then we're ready to go. Okay, showing my screen now. All right, so thank you for being patient. <laughs> that was awkward. Um, so let's go to web forms, and what we need to do is we first of all need to generate a new web form. So create a new web form. We just click on this here. Create a new web form. 
And what I'm going to do is it's going to allow me to create a new web form in, in uh, Aweber now. Now, this isn't confusing at all. This is just really quite basic. We just go to publish. We go to save web form. We'll go to, I will install my new web form, raw HTML version. I'll untick stylings. I need to untick the styling thing. So it's basically giving me the raw code. Copy. And I'll go across. And I'm just going to simply paste this into our generator over here. Simply pasting this here. Company name, so I need to add it. Um, company name, crowd conversion, for example, is my company name. Uh, admin email, which is sam at crowdconversion.com. And then we just simply go across and we type in a password. We go proceed to the next step. And now our application has been generated. So now our application has been completed. So what we need to do is we need to go across to this. We simply refresh. And what it's going to come up with is our new Facebook application. As you can see right here, it's all completed. It's all done. And on this webinar live, I've been able to generate this application, which a business now will pay me $3,000 for. So let me drop this into chat. Cool, there you go. And our new application has been generated. Now, anytime that anyone visits this, they can click on Connect with Facebook. They can go through, they can enter their name. So I'm just going to enter my name. I'm going to enter my email address. And I'll connect with Facebook. Go to, go to app. Allow. And now it's going to take me to the other side where I can share the page. And I can also do a lot of other things. I can like it. I can share it. And I can engage in this contest. It'll also show me on the leaderboard because I've gone through this application. I'm now on the leaderboard. And this has all been done. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to Facebook right now. And I'll show you what happens when we go through this application. So what happens when we go through this application is it features this message right here. This share message right here is featured. So right now you can see that anyone who's a friend of mine, I have 2,500 friends, anyone who's a friend of mine can now see this happening. Okay, everyone can see this image and they can see this call to action here as well. Free fortune cookie contest. And if they're interested in it, then they can click through as well. Does everyone understand how, how we're sharing this, why this is powerful, and how Ben was able to generate this as much traffic as he did automatically? Because what happens is when any of my friends go through this as well, they're sharing it with their friends. Does everyone understand that? Is that clear to anyone? Does everyone understand how this works? Okay, cool. I'm getting some yeses. Okay, I need to make sure this is clear. Is everyone clear on that? Is everyone clear on how this thing's spreading, how it's going through Facebook, and why this is sort of like automatic spreading for a business, automatic lead generation, because it's spreading all through Facebook. Everyone's suddenly seeing it. And if I was to ask you this question then, if I was to hold $3,000 in my hand right now, okay, if I was to hold, I've got $3,000 check in my hand, and I was to offer to hand this to you, if you could generate an application by 12 tonight, Okay, if you generate an application by 12 tonight for my business, would you be willing to take that check off my hands and do that? Okay, where you, would you be able to take the steps necessary from what you've seen to generate one of these applications? And no brainer, my is saying. Heck yeah, Jason's saying. Fantastic, definitely. <laughs> Fantastic. And uh, yes, okay, excellent. I have the knowledge, Chris is saying. Fantastic. And we've also got training, obviously, with that as well. So basically what you've seen so far is you've seen how we do this for these businesses. You've seen how we send out emails. And all you can do is simply send out emails to generate clients and sign them up for these Facebook apps, which can be completed and set up in a matter of minutes. We actually have skilled people who will do this for you. Okay, we actually have people that do this for us. So we don't have to do any of those steps. They do the whole process for us. So we can just simply focus on showing businesses and opening businesses' eyes to the opportunity that is Facebook contests and Facebook applications, which makes it very easy for us as well. So basically, we, we pay people to do this, and it's, it's very, very simple to do that. And just like many of the other people that have come through this course, Eva, for example, she now has over 100 clients paying her on a monthly basis. Over 100 clients. She's only been in business for just over a year now. James Park, his first client bought on $31,000 about three months ago. And in that three months since then, he's bought on $60,000. Now, Tina, many of you may know Tina. It's precious is saying, hey, I know someone, I see someone I know. Tina is a lady who, who we are doing a webinar with. 
And literally a couple of days before that webinar, what she did is she went ahead and she decided, well, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try these contests, this, this application before we run this webinar. So I said, cool. So she tried it out. She showed it to a couple of businesses and she actually had three clients on board two days before that webinar and generated per client over $1,500 as a result of these Facebook apps. So if you're interested in this, if you've seen something today that you've seen a strategy that will show you um, basically how to do this, we're going to be taking on a small group of people from this webinar. you are going to continue with us, continue to train, and continue to implement this system. And one thing with us is uh, we're into franchise systems. Now, when I say uh, we don't do products, we really mean it, okay? We do systems. And when you come on with us, you're going to find that we have every step of the way covered. We have everything you need from A to Z that's going to allow you to make money in this business because we want you to succeed, and it's important to us that we're working with people who have things in place and have a system in their hands that they can immediately implement and make money with. So what we've done is we've created Crowd Conversion Social Sales Engine. What this is is a complete course that allows you using Facebook applications to go out, implement them, and also get on a ton of clients in the process. We also show you how to outsource this business, make it automatic, and really establish a business that is going to continue to run for a number of years and bring an income uh, just like it does in our business. Basically what this is is it's us, us giving you access to our business. So as part of this, the first thing you get is obviously the Facebook application generator. And what we've done with these generators is basically you can generate any Facebook apps you want. It's continually updated. And as you've seen, we've already updated it for the new timeline changes. So these are the types of apps you can generate. And we also have here, get 10,000 fans. Now, um, this is Brian Moran's page. Many of you may be familiar with Brian Moran. Um, we actually set up a contest on a webinar just like this for Brian Moran. And immediately, um, that contest started taking off. He had 80,000 fans on his page at the time when he started this contest. And and literally about six weeks later, he had over 160,000 fans. And you can imagine how many leads he brought in as a result of that Facebook contest. You also get as part of this package Eva Maria's email swipes. Now, as I said, Eva, she's basically been in this business now for a little over a year, and 90% of her, her, uh, her clients have come on as a result of sending emails. So what you get, and I basically went to Eva and I said, well, hey, is there anything we can pass on to people, okay? Is there anything that you could possibly offer that people would get and, and get an understanding for what they need to do first off. And she said, well, yeah, what I'll do is I'll give you my top two converting email swipes. So what you get is you get two of Eva Marie's top converting email swipes. So you can basically pick up these emails, send them out, and then start getting responses from businesses and generating leads. And this is the same email swipes that, that lady that I was telling you about who basically got him on board with the course. She tried her first week, sent up 40 emails, and got in four responses for businesses who signed up. She used these exact swipes for herself, and this is what you can do as well. Now, because we want you to be able to implement this immediately, and we want it's really important to us that obviously you have a professional presence online, okay? That you appear professional to all of these businesses and you can get a jump start over everyone else. We want to make sure that you also have in your hands um, a website, okay? A professional website and also a Facebook fan page as well. So what you can do is basically by tonight, you can have a professional website online. Um, helping you with business, okay? So people can search you online, find your professional, you've got a video there as well. And what you also get access to is a fan page, so you appear professional on Facebook as well. And we're also throughout this giving you access to your virtual sales card. Now what I mean by this is when we started emailing out these businesses, when we started sending out these messages to these businesses, what we found is that many businesses were interested in finding out more information about the features in Facebook, finding out more information about the various parts of Facebook that they potentially benefit from. And so what we did is we basically created this document, which we then emailed the businesses, and it basically sells them on Facebook apps. It shows them all the benefits, all the features, all the things that are great about Facebook apps. You can simply send these out to these businesses that are interested and get responses, get businesses signing up, and get obviously a lot more business as a result of that. And it's important to us that you're able to basically leverage our success. So what I also want to offer you today is a client app case studies, okay? We want to give you access to our client app case studies. We've obviously had a number of successful people come on board and, and, and uh, generate success, okay? And we've taken on board a number of businesses and we've helped them find success. So part of this, what you also get access to is our client case studies where you can basically go out and you can immediately start establishing yourself with these case studies, okay? You can show businesses return on investment. You can show them Brian Moran's case study. You can show them Robert Grant's case study. You can show them Ben's case study, as long with the other businesses that have found success with this. And that for business will communicate that basically you can do this for them as well, that the system works and that they'll be able to sign up on, on board with you because you have these case studies, you have this previous success. So you can leverage our success. So this is really a full franchise system.
Okay, you're getting everything that we have in our business in one place. So you're getting the Facebook application generator, okay? You're also getting uh, social sales engine, the course, the training, basic Facebook. So you get everything, all the knowledge you need about Facebook, all the knowledge you need about client getting, everything there. Your very own franchise website, the exact email templates, success case studies. Now, what, one thing that I didn't mention is we love to work with people that are fast starters, okay? People that take action. And if you're someone that takes action, you're the type of person that want, we want to work with, okay? Those that get into the course and immediately start acting upon what they're learning. So all we did is we took basically the top six people, top six people who were becoming successful within a matter of a couple of days, two to three days, inside our course, who were making money within two to three days from a standing start, and we interviewed them, how did you do this? We asked them, how did you do this? So basically what you get is you get the benefit of hearing how they did it, so you can do it yourself, okay? You can follow the same path that they followed to create the same success that they created as well. So the total value of this was probably eight thousand seven hundred eighty-two dollars. But one of the things that we found out is that, you know, in this economy, one of the concerns that people have is about this economy, and many people are, are sort of hesitant to spend money right now because of the fact that the economy is so bad. But the fact is that, hey, if you want to make money, then you have to uh, get access to the resources that you need. So we decided, well, what about nine nine one thousand nine hundred ninety-seven dollars? And it's going to include twenty-five licenses. So basically, with the first. Um, application that someone generates, they're going to be able to bring in a return. So we thought, well, that's a good price. But then we thought also that, no, we want to make this accessible to all of those that take action. So a much more reasonable price, a much more affordable price would be 997 okay, $997, which also included 25 licenses. So basically, the first client that came on board, people would be making money. They'll be happy. They'll be in profits. But then we thought, well, you know, that's a good price. But we asked around. We, we, we f had a feeling that, you know, the best price, the one that we would have the most people coming in and having the most success with, those that would be taking action, and with the ones that we would be wanting to work with would be 497. So we decided to price this for 497 with 50 licenses. Now, because Mark Roth and Tavis on here, and, and we really appreciate Mark, and he's a friend of ours, we're going to offer something special today for the first ones who get on board as well. And we're going to offer, basically, to get unlimited Facebook licenses, okay? Unlimited licenses to this Facebook app generator if you get on board as part of the first 50 today. This is because Mark is a friend of ours and also because we're actually adding another component to this course next week, which you'll get access to obviously for free, um, but you'll be able to get access to this as well. So you're also gonna get access from the first 15 minutes to 500 leads. Now the thing about this is these 500 leads, you can go and implement these immediately. You can basically take these leads and start emailing out these businesses immediately so you get a fast start. We'll give you 500 leads live on this webinar tonight. Okay, you can get 500 leads so you can go ahead and implement this and start going out to these businesses right away. So this is really a complete system and you, you've got everything you need in order to find success with this business. We find so many people that come in, implement the system and find success as a result of following the steps. We also have a weekly webinar to make sure that everyone's focused and we also go through the success stories of the week, we go through what people did and we have people on there as well. Now, when we usually do this, okay, I've done this before, um, is when we offer 50, for 50 spots, okay, uh, a certain licenses, it often gets snappled up within the first, uh, first few minutes. So what I encourage you to do is if you're interested in today, just say I'm in, okay? If you're interested in what we have today, you've, you've liked what you've seen so far, you like the generator, you're impressed with what's there, and you're really ready to start finding success in this business with this course, just say, yes, I'm in. Okay, just say I'm in right now. So what I want you to do is I'm going to give you a heads up. What I want you to do is I want to make sure that you open up a unique browser. Okay, we're getting a number of I'm ins, a ton of I'm ins coming in. So I want to make sure, open up another browser right now. I'm about to give you the URL which you can go to, visit, and purchase this product. Now you can purchase um, either by PayPal or you can purchase this as a three pay option so you can get access to basically this whole course for three payments if you really want to. Or you can go in for a, for a one-off cost. It's really up to you. So if you're in right now, I'm seeing a number of I'm ins. You can get access today at crowdconversion.com slash let me in. Crowdconversion.com slash let me in. Now the timer is started on the 15 minutes. You now have 13 more minutes to snap all that up. Okay, 13 more minutes to snap up the 500 leads as well. Now we've got a ton of I'm ins coming in, so you want to get in right now. I'll probably estimate you've probably got five minutes, five minutes until these are snappled up. So um, jump in right now, crowdconversion.com, just let me in and get access to this today. I'm going to put this in um, where you all can see it as well, crowdconversion.com slash let me in and get access to this course today.
Now, one of the things that I want you to do is, as you come in as well, it's important to me, and it's important to obviously Rob as well, that um, we find out who we're working with, and we welcome you onto this as well. We want to work with fast starters, and because you're getting in as part of this first 50, um, you're basically qualifying yourself. You're identifying that, hey, I'm a fast starter, and I'm ready to find success in this business. I'm ready to continue on with this, and I'm sick of going product to product, and I'm ready to find a system that truly works that I can implement and make money with. So I really encourage you, as you're coming in today, I want to say, just say, I'm in in the chat, okay? I say it once more in the chat, I'm in, I'm excited, tell me how, you, how you're feeling, and I'm actually going to give you a link where you can reach out to me and we can communicate from here because I'm really looking forward to working with you, and for us, the most important thing is supporting you and making sure that you find success. And to make it even better, um, we're also offering a 30-day money-back guarantee, so even if you don't like it for whatever reason, you find it's not for you, something happens, um, then what will happen is that you'll get your money back, okay? You can email in. So basically, all the risk is on us. It's not on you at all, um, and there's no risk to you in doing this as well. So I want to say welcome as you're coming in. I'm getting a number of IMINs coming in. Fantastic. Um, we're going to leave this open for the next, we've got 12 more minutes. I'm going to ask for some questions. Then after that 12 minutes, this webinar will stop and, and cease to move forward. But before I do that, um, what I want you to say is that I, I'm getting, uh, uh, Guy, obviously, there's a three payment option. And it's for 497, okay, or a three payment option. That's, uh, that's for Jackie. Fantastic. Welcome to those coming in, Erica. It's fantastic to have you on board. Manish, it's fantastic to have you on board. Excellent. I can't wait to be working with you in the future. Jason, it's fantastic to have you on board as well. Um, Nick, it's excellent to have you on board. I'm excited. Uh, Roger, fantastic. I'm looking forward to moving forward with you as well. And um, we've also got another Rick as well. Uh, Cool, Charles, excellent, good to have you on board. Uh, Nita, as well, fantastic, it's good to have you on board, really excited moving forward, I'm about to send you out a link. Uh, Kyle, as well, and also um, Scott, yes, it does work in Canada as well, fantastic. So as you're coming in, just say, I'm in. Um, if you're excited, then let me know, and we're excited to have you on board. So uh, you'll be able to get in right now. Now, I can do this, it's so easy. Um, cool, but I have no money. Okay, well, Chris, the only thing we can do is we've got that three payment option, but what I'd encourage you to do um, is go out and go out and see if you can get some business on board. Now, this is a, available only for tonight, so we can't actually offer the special anywhere else for this type of price, but obviously we will be still promoting this course later on, so I'll give you an email address you can get in touch with me on. And what I'd encourage you to do is go out and find some businesses. Go and talk to some businesses over the next couple of days and find some that are going to be successful. They're going to, that you, they're going to want to get this on board, and many people do that. Um, cool. Jennifer, the payment option is at the bottom. The free payment option is right at the bottom. You can tick it, select it, and you'll be able to get access to that as well. And Jackie's just saying, I'm excited. Fantastic. Uh, excellent, Brandy. That's fantastic. Cool. Fantastic. Now we're getting uh, excellent. Welcome on board, Erica. That's fantastic. <laughs> excellent. I can see you're excited. Excellent. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to make sure that, um, that everyone's getting in. Now, if you have a teen, okay, if you have a teen, I just want you to say, yes, I have a teen right now. Okay, say, yes, I have a teen. Because there's something else special that I want to offer for those that have come in so far, and also something else. Yes, I have two teens. Jennifer saying, fantastic. Brandy saying, yes, I have a teen as well. Fantastic. Scott saying yes. Now, what we're going to offer is, it's, it's really important, it's a passion of mine, that with teens, um, I, I was obviously started off at a young age. I started off when I was 13, and if I didn't have supportive parents, I don't think I'd be where I am right now. Um, it's always been a passion of mine to really do this business, and I really enjoy what I do, and I've, I've, I've been able to reach the success that I have as a result of doing this. So, one of the things that I found is I was never taught in school what I really needed to learn about business. And I know that if you're a parent of a team right now, and you want that team to succeed, and you, you know that they have some sort of entrepreneurial quality, then it's important to me that we really help that. So if you've got a team today and you get access today, um, all you need to do is send an email to sam at crowdconversion.com, sam at crowdconversion.com, and I'm actually going to give your team a free account. Now, obviously, you need to demonstrate that they are your team, that this person is real. But um, if you can send an image, their Facebook uh, profile links, or anything like that to this address that I just sent out, uh, you'll be able to get a free account for them as well. Yes, Guy? If you have two teens, that's totally cool as well. You'll still be able to get accounts for those two teens, so they can help you with this business as well. And one of the things that I had is I was originally sp um, speaking over in Brisbane, Brisbane, Australia, and I had someone from the audience come up to me and just say that, hey, 
um, said he got into the course, he was excited about it, but he said one of the things that he really appreciated, and one of the things that he's really most excited about is the fact that he's doing this with his daughter, and that she's really enthusi uh, he's, she's really, um, I guess, helping him stay focused, and they're doing it together, which is mean that he's much more enthusiastic about it, that he's, uh, he's, he's feeling far more enjoyment about that as well, and uh, so that was really cool for me, and, and that's what you'll be able to do, so um, that's part of this as well. All right, so as you're coming in, just say, I'm in. Fantastic. We have about eight more minutes to get up on those on those bonuses. Uh, yes, that will work, Anita. Yeah, yeah, totally. Fantastic. Welcome on board, Jennifer. That's fantastic. Excellent. Now, if anyone needs uh, any more questions answered, just let me know. If you've got, if your heart is pumping and that you're not totally sure about this, if you're on the fence and you're thinking, well, is this the right thing for me? You know, you've been through courses before and they haven't delivered, and you're thinking, well, you know, is this the opportunity today that you know I could have to actually make an income online? Is this a system that allow me to have the income that I really deserve online and that I really want? And if you're thinking that right now and you've got questions that are unanswered in your head. Um, I really encourage you to post them right now. I'm getting a number of women I'm in, but I'm going to focus on you right now because it's really important that uh, that you make the right decision today. Because I know for me, when I first started out in this, I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking, is this the right decision for me? I was nervous. I was, should, I, should I really go ahead and do this? Should I apply it? Am I wasting my time here? One of the biggest fears was that I'd try all this work. I'd really implement all the systems I possibly could, and I'd, I'd work for so long, night after night, and I wouldn't find the success online. I wouldn't actually get paid for the all the work I was doing. And it was a real fear of mine. But it helped being able to ask that question and ask, well, hey, and I found a system in the end that would allow me to do that. And that's what we're offering you today. Cool. So basically, this isn't a team option, Roger. This is the teen option. So you'll get your teen will get free access. We have monthly webinars if you're looking to communicate with others. And we also have a forum being added very soon. There's a monthly cost normally with this as well. Um, but uh, today, you're going to get access to that free because we don't currently have that in place. Ah uh, yeah, Jennifer. Jeff, <laughs> Jennifer, don't worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Chris, you can. Obviously, the bonuses are only available for tonight, and there's also some other bonuses um, that are available that I haven't yet mentioned. Um, if I use my own designs, can the system be used with businesses not in English? Yes, Casper, they can. It can be used in any language. Fantastic, Nadia. Yes, that's fine. She qualifies. Cool. What does the Facebook app do for the business? Well, what it does for the business is it allows them to, first of all, establish a presence on Facebook, a professional presence. So anyone being sent to that business's fan page will go to that application page, and they'll have a professional presence on Facebook. Also, what it's going to do is it's going to allow that business to capture leads, which then it then can promote to and get walking through the door. Also, it allows them to get additional spread over Facebook because when applications spread, they spread fast. Because people, when people click through, it gets shared on the newsfeed of all their friends. It's going to mean that you're going to have a ton of spread happening as a result of that. So that's the benefit to a business. Um, cool. Now this is everything you get. There's no upsells and no downsells. There's no funky um, sales. It's just this product. This is the system. It's a full system. It gives you everything you need. Sure. Give me an email, Jeanette. That's fine. Um, Casper, yes, th there may be a monthly cost though. If you don't get in this week, there will be a monthly cost being added to this very soon. Now, Ta Tawar is asking, I'm not quite clear, um, will I be doing the design work or is an outsourcing team doing it? So there's a number of options there, Tawar. You can either do it yourself, you can use an outsourcer or an Odesk or a site like that, or you can use our development team who will do the designs for you. So if you're doing it yourself, we actually give you some generic templates that you can apply immediately. Um, that's going to help you as well. Cool. Um, email me here, Chris. 
Uh, Jennifer, no, I'm I'm not too sure. I, I don't know Anthony personally. Fantastic, Caspar. Cool. How do I get traffic to my customer's Facebook site? Scott's asking. Well, there's two ways to do that, Scott. The first way that I'll give you, and we, we actually go into a number of different strategies inside the course itself, how to drive traffic, PBC, PBC, all of that. But the first way I'll give you is that if you have a business that currently has some sort of fan base on Facebook right now, one of the things that you can do is you can go ahead and you can get them to simply promote you, okay? You can get them to promote it on their page, the contest, and they have fans already, so then it just takes off. The second thing you can do is you can go ahead, if you're starting from the ground up, that page, that business has literally no fans whatsoever. We have a number of strategies inside the course, which you'll see, um, that basically will allow you to just simply spread the, the word about your contest very fast on a number of different contest sites. And also, um, you'll be able to go onto Facebook itself and just post on certain pages and certain places, um, which will give you the immediate spread that you need. That's all that Ben did as well, just uh, post in certain places on Facebook. And then after that, the contest just took off. Cool. Um, Francis is asking, is this a, about a third-party business owner you talk to, or is this works with affiliation program as well? Now, you can either use this with affiliate programs, or you can use this with business owners. Obviously, for us, um, we do businesses. Okay, We help businesses. All the training is targeted towards that as well as results. Um, so you want to make sure that you're – I'd recommend using businesses, but if you want, you can use this with affiliate marketing as well. That's how Robert Grant made his money as well. He was promoting a product of his own on Facebook. All right, so we have about two more minutes to get access to those 500 leads. If you want to jump in right now, two more minutes to get access to those 500 leads, and you'll be able to get access today to that. Now, before you go anywhere, for the next couple of minutes, you're also going to get access to another bonus as well. And this I haven't actually shown you, and I'll, I might extend the time just slightly to make sure that this is okay, is this right here. Who's heard of autopilot webinars before? Autopilot webinars. <laughs> Erica's saying she was so excited she entered the wrong email. Um, email this address, Erica, and they'll take care of you. We have a full support team in place, so it's okay. All right, so what you can see here is autopilot webinars. Who's heard of this before? Just say yes if you've heard of this before. Because uh, Rob and I actually own this software, autopilot webinars. And currently, what it does is basically a lot of number of the big marketers use this, okay? Basically, what they do is they run auto webinars. So webinars like this, but ones that are autopilot, okay? And we actually set these up for clients. Um, I speak at events, and I sell this to clients and businesses, and I help businesses create webinars for their business. I also go out and sell the system and the software to the businesses as well. And we're going to give you free access today to this as well. Now, currently, this is for a one payment. You can buy it for $997. That's per year. Okay, we sell it for $997 per year, but if you get access today, what you're going to get access to, and I'll show you what you're going to get access to right now, is you'll get access to the system right here. This full system that you can use with your clients, you can use another service to help these businesses as well. So what you can do is immediately, as, you, as a result of getting to this course today, you'll get this as a free bonus. And you'll be able to sell this to businesses or use it yourself, do whatever you want to do to, to do with it yourself. So this is how it looks. You can create your own webinars, and I'll just go ahead and I'll just start up a webinar, an autopilot webinar, so you can see. Cool. So this is a webinar we just recently ran, and we put it on autopilot webinars. And as you can see, it's a webinar that's happening. There's a chat box here, so you can communicate with people. And all of that is done all through here. We can answer, uh, ask questions down the bottom and uh, communicate with people and, and then chat. We can actually, we've got a dashboard which communicates as well. So today, what you're going to get access to is you're going to get access to the ability to run autopilot webinars. We've got statistics. We've got also, we've got, um, you can play the webinar. You can obviously edit the webinar. You can add whatever you want to the webinar, run reports. You've got a learning center here to teach you all about autopilot webinars and how to use it correctly to make money. And you also get access to this full system today as a result of getting in on this live webinar, two autopilot webinars for free. And you'll get lifetime access. So who's excited about that? If you've got in right now, are you excited right now? Is that cool?
Is that cool? We, we've actually had a number of other prizes coming up, within, I guess, surprises um, inside the course itself. But this is just one of the things that we were planning to give away later. It's really an unannounced bonuses, a bonus, but um, you'll get access to this today as well. Fantastic. And I'm getting a lot of people excited. That's excellent. All right, so we have a few more slots left for this first 50. So if you want to get in, uh, get access today, um, now is the time to jump in. Now is definitely the time to jump in before time runs out. And also, so we've, got, uh, we've still got a number of people in this webinar. So you've got two more minutes. We're going to give you two more minutes after showing you this to get into those first 500 leads, and then it's over. Okay? So first 500 leads, and then you'll be able to get access to all of this today. Um, as well. And the next, you've got two more minutes or one minute and 10 seconds. One minute and 10 seconds. So now is the time to act. Now is the time to go to crowdconversion.com slash let me in and get access to this today. Now, if you have any more questions, just let me know. Just post them right now. If you have any more questions, post them right now, and I'm here to answer them. Uh, yeah, Dave. Fantastic. Casper is saying, I'll give you an email. Fantastic. All right. Now, Marcus was saying you're about to say something about fundraising. That's right. Okay. Um, the other thing I want to do is who has a spouse here? Who is a, who's in a relationship um, where they're married? Okay. Who's married here and has a spouse, whether it's a supportive or not? Who has a spouse or someone they're married to? Thank you for that, Marcus. All right, cool. We've got a number of people who are married. Daniel saying yes. Chris saying yes. Marcus saying yes. Jason, Francis, Scott, Erica, Roger, Marcus. Cool. Well, today what we're going to do is um, it's been one of the most rewarding things for me, being able to work with my girlfriend. And we've got a lot in common in terms of, hey, we've got businesses that are similar. And one of the most rewarding things is that we can have conversations about this stuff. We can work together. And it's actually a lot of fun um, doing this from home and being able to have her there and, and uh, working with me on a lot of this stuff. So uh, what I wanted to give you today is because it's Mark Roth's webinar, for everyone who gets in and gets in within the next five minutes, we've got about five more minutes until I close this webinar down, you're going to get access to not only the unlimited licenses, if, you've, if there's still spots left, um, and if you've already got in, then you'll still qualify for what I'm about to say, but we're also going to give you a free account to give to your spouse. So you're also going to get a free account for your spouse so they can run this business with you. I know that many of you, that's very important that they're involved. They'll be able to do something along, along the lines of the business, learn it as well. So you can go through this course together. So you're actually going to get a spouse account today as well. All you need to do is just email me in, and you'll be able to get access to that. <laughs> the guy's saying, yes, she is skeptical, though. <laughs> Fantastic guy. Hopefully she won't be when you start making some money, right? Uh, yes, Thomas, it will be. All right, so um, we've got just a few more minutes here, just the last few minutes, and uh, then you'll be able to jump. Uh, then we'll be getting off this call. Um, so if you want to jump in now, now is the time to act. So far, I've had a ton of people coming on. There's a 30 day money back guarantee. You've seen how these guys are doing this, you've seen the system that's been outlined in this webinar. Even if you're not, if this is not right for you today, um, you've got a strategy now you can implement. So I encourage you to go and take action on that. So for everyone who's coming in today, I want to welcome you. I want to say that it's great to have you on board. We can't wait for the next members webinar. We, we can connect and you'll be able to learn a whole heap of new strategies on there because obviously I, I wasn't able to discuss everything on the strategy um, or everything on this call today. Um, but moving forward, you're going to get access to a whole lot of new stuff. And um, if you thought this was cool today, um, wait until you see that members webinar. Uh, yeah, Roger, that would be fine. Cool. So what, are the, what this application is, just to give you a clarification, let's go to this, Fortune. Is, it's this right here. It's basically your ability to generate these Facebook applications very quickly and very easily. And you can sell it as a system 
as well. So basically on this webinar, we showed you how you can generate an application. We also went through how you can generate leads, um, so a number of case studies of people doing that, how to find business owners, and also email out those business owners to make money as well, and all of that today in this webinar. Cool. So you can get access today at crowdconversion.com slash let me in. So if you want to jump in right now, crowdconversion.com slash let me in. We still have some fifty uh, some of those fifty licenses in, but all I want to say is if you've got in today, if you've got in today, just say I'm in, in the chat right now, because there's something else that I haven't told you about. Just say I'm in, in the chat right now. I just got a question from Quest which is relevant to this. So um, if you just want to say I'm in, if you've got in today, just say I'm in, whether it's PayPal, whether it's through the merchant account, whatever way you've done, credit card, just say I'm in. If you've successfully gone through, if you're in the course right now, you're learning this, just say I'm in right now. The people that have got in today, that got access today, say I'm in right now, and I've got something special for you as well. Coming in a ton of I'm ins coming in, fantastic. I'll just wait a couple more moments so everyone said I'm in. All right, so what you're also going to get access to today as a special, okay, this is a one-off, um, you're also going to get access to an SEO service, okay, and this, basically this SEO service in this company um, does all the outsourcing for this, okay, basically what they do is they give you a VA for a month, which you're able to use to generate apps, what they're also going to give you is printed out reports for SEO, so you can hand these to your clients when you get them, basically hand them these SEO reports for their specific business, and they'll be able to see exactly what it is that they're doing wrong with SEO, and then you can get this other company to do it for them and get a commission for that. Also, they do websites, they also do everything else you could possibly need um, in your business, okay, for these clients. So SEO, web design, uh, they do Facebook as well, okay, Facebook apps, you can get them to generate these custom Facebook apps for the clients so you don't have to do it for, you, for them. Facebook pages, all of that, and you'll be able to get access to using that company inside the course today for saying I'm in. All right, well, that brings us to the end of this webinar. If you want to get in right now, you've got about two more minutes to qualify for those uh, that, those bonuses as we switch off this webinar. And I really want to uh, say thank you for those that are coming in. I really look forward to meeting you and, and moving forward with you. And I, I can't wait to, to – hopefully I'll get the opportunity to meet you in person at some stage. And uh, I want to say thank you for everyone who's been on the call today. Um, really appreciate it, and I hope that you've learned something, taken some, from here something that will enable you to uh, to do something, and hopefully it's exposed you to a new strategy for making money online. So I want to thank you all for the call. Thank you, Mark, for bringing me on, and I'm excited. I will uh, talk to you all later on.